All right, all right, all right. I am losing my mind. It is so freaking hot. It's a Tuesday night, eight o'clock in Berlin, summertime Germany, GMT plus two. So I'm solving some issues here. We're getting started in a second, everybody. I hope the quality is good, I hope sound is good and everything's working the way it's supposed to work. Alright guys, let's do this. Mario's magic. Like and subscribe. Well, hey everybody. My name is Lord Mario's, and welcome back to yet another Cut Magic live stream on my channel here at Mario's Magic on a Tuesday night. Awesome, you guys are tuning in. Hit the chat. Let me know what's going on. Where are you tuning in from? What are you up for today? We are in the fourth section, entering the fourth section of the Royal Road to Card Magic. And we're going to talk about the glide. The glide, the slide is one of the easiest and most useful to the card magician. In its original form, it was used merely to substitute one card for another. But since the turn of the century, other and excellent uses of the slide have been evolved, some of which we will shall describe. The basic action of the glide is this, and then who got in pro A immediately go for a explanation of the handling of the technique. The glide is really something uh, something absolutely fundamental in card magic. It's kind of one of these things. It's a very specific slide actually, um, but yet it it comes with a lot of use applications. And I was uh, taking a look at some other books, for example, The Expert at the Card Table or um, Basic Card Technique. I also looked at um, Expert um, uh, Expert Card Technique by Hugart and Bruy, and then also um, Card Control uh, by Buckley. Uh, and they all, of course, they all, of course, have uh, at some point a, the, the glide somewhere in there. And we cover all of that uh, today in this live session, which, of course, is designed in a manner so that you guys also might use this for practicing cards. So you get a deck of cards out right now, and then you make this quality quality time. So go and Instagram and follow Vanish Badanger. It was very good. He was a very good magician. Viral news. You don't hijack other channels and go and do promo for other channels. That's a poo poo. Bad behavior. Okay, guys. Let's get started here. I first of all want to thank my Patreons for their huge and immense and absolutely powerful support. Because you guys, I've got a Patreon site, which is uh, really tiny right now, but it's pretty awesome. I've got six guys uh, uh, already now supporting me also uh, financially, which is a huge support here um, uh, at the current state of this channel and also on the current state of YouTube. And if you guys know, I'm following here this live session. I'm also sometimes getting in a little bit of a YouTube rant or into a explanation or I insight, you know, showing you guys what's what's uh, happening at uh, the back end of my production. And then also um, there's sometimes story time. I'm telling you guys uh, just some crazy stories what happened in my life. So uh, this is a very nice way to connect, to connect together with you guys. And then also practicing cards and learning cards. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to, to take a close look at the glide. We are going to talk a little bit about, about YouTube and um, yeah, and then practicing cards. So 
Um, first of all, uh, for no really reason, for no real reason, there is no music going on here anymore. So I have to, I have to turn music back on. Um, let me do this first. By the way, let, let, let's do it like this. By the way, um, I'm here right now browsing a channel called the Royalty F Free uh, Planet, um, and uh, this is um, uh, this is a super awesome channel um, giving you music. Really beautiful right to free music and I'm, I'm using this all the time so a free shout out for these guys uh, Absolutely amazing. So I want to view. I want to play all of this playlist and we we started with this tune here So look, let's go to the next tune and uh, And then we got some music in the background although I have to probably turn my head my, I have to turn it a little bit down here So not too loud on my headphones, you know and for you guys so that you have a really nice background going on so and uh, since i'm here in this uh in this thing let me show you this my patreon and um flying we is just number six that tuned in i guess he's going to tune in here sooner or later what was a blast of a um uh uh, a moment he wrote some really nice comments about what we're doing here um, made my day it was extremely extremely cool right righty right so back to this this is not how it's supposed to be here we are so the royal road to card magic is, is is now we are now here pretty much in in the in the middle of it this is the first uh, this is the first uh, would you say technique that that is like kind of a sp specific slide uh, which looks something like this here yeah very very easy something like this pulling the bottom card a little bit to the inside and releasing here the 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 all the other cards in order to deal cards from the bottom of the deck but making it appear as if those cards come from the bottom of the deck and that's that, that's that's all there is to it so it is a very simple concept and it is from the handling and i'm just going to show you this uh, now a little bit in detail it, it's it's very simple uh, but it comes with a lot of applications and in the royal road to card magic we are confronted with only two tricks here designed for laughter we walked through this today and of course um the observation test which actually kind of and uh, that's again what i love so much about the royal road to card magic um is a trick that um that's actually a package trick that introduces you in kind of a uh, package work so this is pretty pretty damn awesome um nyrismus uh, hey uh welcome to the show i'm just getting started um explaining here that we're now talking about the glide so uh did you do you guys know the glide do you guys have any experience with performing with the glide uh, any tricks uh, you know you prefer with the glide because they are um, i guess quite uh, quite more than only explained in royal road to card magic and everybody of course you get a deck of cards out while we are practicing so i hope the camera is uh, is set up so that everything looks nice and crisp we're getting getting started here with a little bit of um of shuffling the cards because I didn't I, I didn't practice cards today at all so just gotta get into this a little bit losing the hands right and shuffling the cards and we got uh, J J Prakash uh, Tanti saying hi hi how are you doing everybody shuffling in everybody new to the show welcome there is Flying Wee. I've been just talking about you, Flying Wee. Thank you so much for your support, for tuning in on Patreon. Made my day. Thank you so much for your for your lovely and kind comment. Was a huge motivation boost, you know. I'm just getting started here with warming my myself up a little bit, losing my hands with the with the uh, um. Uh, overhand shuffle and with a little bit of a Hindu shuffle here, you know, basic shuffling techniques, no fancy stuff, um, uh, no, uh, all genuine here. And then I usually I go to my favorite false cards, it's a triple false card here, and then this baby, which I love to call um, the wingman card, is a very nice um, technique. These are things I, I, I usually do all the time, every day, at least for a couple of minutes to keep them to keep them really nice and steady 
So uh, flying we is honest to be honest. Uh, uh, flying the, the the glide is a chapter that I haven't dug into. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, so so this is going to be very beneficial for you. Um, the glide is a technique that, um, by the way. Uh, that I that by the way I use in a card trick and I I usually gu guys link everything here in the info cards you know and you find there my link to my patreon site of course you will find there uh, the playlist for all the live streams I ever did on this channel and also you find another video here bonus video about a topic I want to talk with you uh, later on about the situation on we got here on YouTube right now which impacts all the content creators and also all the consumers on the platform we're going to talk about this but there is another thing that I want to show you now that's my back end we got eight folks watching right now thank you so much for tuning in guys um, so let's go to my channel page so everybody who's new uh, my channel this is my channel page and I got a lot of uh, dank stuff going on here let me show you this I got uh, I got all my uploads of course then I got a uh, card magic trick performances card trick tutorials I got uh, all them moves tutorials or sleight of hand moves tutorials I got um, a tutorial series like card magic basics the basic control uh, tutorial series and I got a lot of other tutorial series like shuffling like a pro the three boldest false cards uh, four cool one-handed cards five most valuable flourish and so on and then also other related stuff so let's let me dig into my videos here because um, I have a video a very nice performance which is which is very old where I'm actually using the glide okay and um, I didn't link it I forgot about it so it's pretty at the pretty 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 early I don't even know if I find it now but I should find it now yes yeah, so, so you see guys you it's really um, uh, you might really Akuma Snow hey hey Akuma thanks for the for the funny comment the other day um, Yes, I'm very close to 6k subs, but man, I'm telling you, my numbers are so down. There's some crazy shit going on with the algorithm. I'm just, I'm, I'm at the lowest point of my growth rate for, uh, since uh, 2017. I'm really, I'm just, it's a disaster. But uh, um, at the beginning of the way, of the year, it was looking like as if I would be um, right now heading for a solid 10k. But now I can be happy if I make it to I don't know seven or something. But it doesn't matter. So there is the scar trick. Not this one, not this one. Look closely, this one here. And I will now open it up and I will link it in the info cards of this video, right? Um, so this is a very old video of mine. Um, I do this trick in German as a package trick. Um, and uh, it's a very, if you don't know this trick, it's going to literally blow your mind. And the, the funny thing about this is, I could, I wouldn't know how to do this right now. I, I watched, I just watched it the other day because sometimes you watch what you do, right? <laughs> and um, I was like, how the, f how, how, how does it work? So this is a, this is a level of um, f uh, fooling fooling yourself, you know. That's the masterclass, you know. <laughs> and um, anyway, so I link the I copy the the link here, and then I go back um, I go back to to my uh, to my uh, thing here. I go to info cards, and, and now you see how it works in the back end on YouTube. Now this is this video. Actually, it's running live here. Now I add a card, a video or playlist, and I just add the link in here. Bang, you go. And a little tutorial how to do it. Now, uh, this uh, video should be available, right, on uh, in the info cards, up there, up there, where you also find my Patreon, my Patreon uh, site. You don't need to, to become a loyal um, and uh, paying Patreon. You can also just follow content creators on patreon for, for for now and then you know so um and anyways you will f now f should find there the link to this to this video to this video where and this is the only thing i know about how to do this trick <laughs> today where i use the glide where the glide comes in handy and um when we have been done with the lesson today, you will have a very f fine clue how, to, how wh where there is another step to a secret of this. Because this is, although it is a, uh, a patch trick which is done with four cards, there is a layer, a layer of deception going on. There are many methods implemented to create this completely impossible effect. Um, so now you tease. You now you know what you watch later after this thing. Okay, back to the card table. Um, let me or let's let's get my face let's get my face going here 
am gone. There I am. Let's get a little bit closer here. And um, yes, so for a little tutorial, um, there are this different um, um, descriptions in uh, different books I looked in today. Uh, so, but they pretty much have all the same in common that with the that with the uh, with the three fingers here, the uh, the second, third, and fourth fingers. The cards get the the, the bottom card gets uh, uh, pushed downwards, and of course, in this position, so that um, this looks absolutely naturally. Why the fuck is there no single now? Here we're going back here. So, the motion would be something like this. So very tiny motion here of the muscles to get into this position and then to, to be able to deal down the cards from basically the second from the top and um, as uh, whenever you please to you can uh, deal down the, the 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 bottom card that that would be the easiest um, and most uh, obvious use case scenario of this so how do you do this how do you do this guys if you watch the tutorial on the um, on the top shot right this is the grip you're getting started and once again if I um, if I reference to tutorials of my channel you all find them on my channel page they are all organized in tutorial series so basically you're clipping the so basically you're clipping the 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 package between index finger and thumb with the index finger and the thumb clipping the the top card respectively the bottom card because we're doing this of course with the palm down um being loose but still in control so you should be able to be like this and and put the card for them back that that's the grip let's get started with this and guys you will realize if you are in literature this is already get becoming a really great tutorial <laughs> uh, because the, uh, the, the, tips and keys like that you usually you hardly find in books you know because you have only limited space in books and um, so you, you, you try to re the, the, the authors usually try to really just get, get get it down and then you then from there you have to find your own solutions and here in the brand new world of the YouTube we can now um, talk in detail about the subtleties and the pros and cons of specific techniques and the difficulties and then we can encourage ourselves and why we do so we can practice this thumbs up everybody so um so from this position here, yeah, right. This is, would be the same thing like I'm doing the top shot, and but at, 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 instead of shooting the card, of shooting card away, I'm just pushing the card down with my, uh, ha, with my, mainly with my um, pinky, pinky hashtag pin pinky consciousness. Once again, we are in a situation. There is no, there is no way around the the, the very solid, very true truths in card magic that the pinky does a, a whole is a, plays a very important role in what we do yeah basically so this motion a very tiny motion pushing the card down in the royal road to card magic if i'm not mistaken <coughs> hogart and bray say that they do it with the, that it's supposed to be done with the with the third finger and i guess like this <coughs> Uh, but I, I, uh, for me, I, I never quite, quite got there. For me, the, the handling like this, I got my fingers like this, and then I just basically push them down, pull them down. Can I? Can this be more? Can is there more to it to explain it? If you, if you give, give it a try, this shouldn't be so much of a deal. And then of course, this is supposed. What the fuck? This is supposed to be, to be, um, to hap to happen in this position. Now. You will find, of course, there is going to be a little tension here, but the more to practice this, the easier it should get. And um, usually, if you do it in a rotation motion, you get into this position and nobody will ever see it. So you would be here, and it is, for most of the most use case scenarios, uh, a matter of flashing the bottom card to make this effect really also work. So you, will, you want to flash the bottom card and then get into this position. And then, of course, you get, get, get there where you want to get. And that is that is the uh, that is the that is the, uh, the, 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 the the glide the technique of the glide handings of the glide, and um, you can hold a very loose uh, deck then, and um, and it is absolutely natural for laymen. Probably you can even in in a certain angle as I did right now, you could even place a deck on the table super innocently, grab it up like this, and then do this thing. Yeah, gotta be careful here. Not to flash. 
and then you pull out. So, well, Giardini, 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 welcome to the show, first of all. So you have a question. It says, um, I'm investing in magic tricks and gimmicks. Any suggestions? Well, uh, depends on depends on where you are with your magic. Depends on where you want to go with your magic. And um, it depends on what you really want to do with your magic. You know, there, there are basically three types of... Uh, of goals you can have you can you can become a trick collector somebody who's never really wanting to really work with the tricks or even perform them it's just curiosity how it's done the product people like buying magic tricks then then get, getting to know the secret and then you know uh, putting them in their in their um, closet and then there there is this whole area of um, semi hobbyists to semi professionals and in this area of course you could also be at the same time a, a trick collector it always depends on what, what money you got but of course um at this is the point where you become kind of selective because you really start to to build uh, to building routines and performing uh, um a magic and and then it's really up uh, up up to uh, what did you do before um and uh, what do you already have in your repertoire what fit, fits in there or not and of course if you are professional you probably will be highly selective you re will be really knowing what you are purchasing and um you will already have a very very long uh, uh journey um, behind you so that you're pretty much really knowing when a trailer comes out uh, what 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 it is uh, you're dealing with so um, recent Jardini says recently he bought the Omni deck the double cross and little door I don't know the little door I don't know the double cross for example because I do not buy m tricks so much um, I am um, by mainly um, literature and um, uh, um, DVDs, but lecture DVDs. Um, I'm interested more right now in uh, in this phase of my learning process in really building routines, uh, really how interaction with audience works. How do you get to a complex routine? Uh, what does you have to take care of? And so, um, so I, 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 I'm buying more literature right of course the omni deck which is a, a very classical thing uh, which is um popping up once in here uh, in a while do you know for example this extreme beautiful deck with uh, effect with the omni deck um where um, I, I think chris angel made it extremely popular where he makes a complete deck um disappear in in a fountain in a water fountain and then only the sign um, um selection uh so the signed spectator cards um, comes out of the water. That is freaking, uh, freaking beautiful effect. Stuff like that. Um, Flying we got the move. Just wanted to, um, I wanted to get into this a little bit. Of course, I know. I, I so a recommendation is recommendations are really, really, um, are really. It really depends. I just, you know, of course, you can't go wrong if you're into card magic with trick decks. You know, you cannot go wrong with a Swengali deck or with um, an Omni deck. Uh, and then, of course, maybe with the classical DVD or book on the subject. And then just, you know, um, trying to at least um, subtract a certain, a little bit of material you actually will be using then. Um, and then it will be a uh, it will be a reasonable purchase i bought a lot of products which the trailer looked amazing and i believe if you make those tricks work they will be amazing but in the end you never use it you know i got a lot of you know and this is at a certain point you gotta just figure out for yourself it is the most important step for everybody in this in this uh, field at a certain point you will realize i have enough on my shelf and um, now this shit is getting accused buying more tricks is getting accused for actually going out and performing for actually getting the material i i've already been working at down so that it's amazing and great right so swami give me give me something different and amazing mentalism um so um yeah let me show you my la latest purchase which was not um cheap let me check this show this i laid my i laid my hand 
on a version of this sucker. Do you know this, baby? That is a very, very powerful book. Like if you, if you, um, if you open this up as a card magician, um, and you go through the um, preface, you get like, what the fuck, man? This is serious literature. This is a very, very strong book. I'm really looking forward to uh, 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 going through this. This is going to be a very, very rich lecture. And um, it's one of these books that might really change the course of, um, of, of, what, I, what, what you're doing as a magician, of what I'm doing here as a magician. Um, especially as a card magician. It was very long overdue working this uh, sucker. Um, it's very, it's very, um, it's very exciting for me because I am um, a, um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm focused, I've been focused on sleight of hand based card magic and I've um, been always interested to, to um, create these um, effects uh, and um, perform these tricks that are based on the skill of my hands and that was for the longest time which excited me the most but now I realized for uh, there is these all these elements like for example the, uh, the whole complex of the mesmerized deck the sleight of hand I know is more than enough it's way over the top for what you need a sleight of hand working with a mesmerized deck so maybe this thing will uh, put me into a very different direction. You never know. This is just what com comes up here when somebody asks me for uh, what to buy. Um, be careful, however, with these trailers that, um, you know, go out for this is the greatest effect, super easy, sets up in five seconds, blah, 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 all this thing. And then at the end, you, uh, you end up with a thumb tip or with a flap card. You know, that there's a lot of shit like that out there. And um, yeah. It's old wine in a uh, new house is saying. Anyways, so what, what's going on? We, we are right now. We started here with a low uh, low viewers. Uh, now we got we we, we with eleven folks. Everybody is tuning in. So uh, Swami, uh, first time doing this live. I love you, man. Deck hat. Um, that is that is a very risky nickname. You know that. <laughs> Deckhead, uh, I love you, man. Your videos make me so interested in magic. You make my mind go nuts. Amazing stuff here. Awesome, awesome. It's it's one of the beautiful aspects of magic. Here's a little story. Story time. Story time, guys. Um, and then we go back to the to the card table. I promise. Um, I was introduced to magic by a professional um, who would stay in my place um, for about a month. Uh, because he was working in the city, a, a, a serious um, street um, worker and bar worker and table worker. And um, so when he com comes uh, home uh, from work or when he was uh, not working and um, I was also at home, I got a basic crash course by a working pro professional. And these sessions, these first introductions to the art form, I, my, my mind was blown away, like literally. And here you're talking to a guy. I'm I'm uh, I'm an I'm a, a ma I'm an a, a, um, magister atrium in philosophy and uh, history. I studied philosophy and history, so my brain is really capable of um, of uh, getting hit by crazy shit. <laughs> but these first sessions of magic with this um, mentor, with my first mentor, they literally would blow my mind. I was like, oh my, oh stop it, stop it, stop it, you know, as if you, at a certain point, it feels like your brain starts dripping out of your nose, you know, it's freaking crazy. So, uh, you're my nicest and nephews got in trouble by saying my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah my nieces and nephews got in trouble uh, by saying my name. So, and then Nairus Smith said, you might call me crazy, but I bought two similar children's magic box and now I have three tricks <laughs> from that. This is what you have to say, are amazing. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Do not underestimate those stuff. And you never know. That, that's the beauty of it. You never know. You got to be open-minded. You got to search, but you don't have to buy every, uh, anything. But if you, if, you keep, if you stay interested and if you stay fresh, you never know. You know wh what you find. So back to the card table. Back to the, um, back to the, back to the uh, glide. Let's let's go. Let's let's look here at um, Erdnish, um because um, I, I thought it was very, very funny. In Erdnes, it's not the glide; it's the slide. Erdnes calls it the slide, and I don't know where it is now. I'm gonna find it here. 
Oh Jesus! This is a, this is I hate it in the summertime when the batteries are overheating. I have to turn the camera off and I gotta go back into this mode. And I gotta. Um, by the way, everybody tuning in now, um, we are, are here doing a super productive card magic jam session. Quality quality time. You get 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 a deck of cards out. You practice what what you what you practice, and I do my thing. And the, my main topic today because thumbnail rules. Okay, I don't give a f I don't give the damn if the new rules on YouTube is. Uh, clickbait garbage I don't give a damn I do my thing right so um, let's find it the slide the slide the slide in the book where is that sucker that the slide 107 and one on page 107 in um, expert at the card table also, this book, this is such a myst mystified book. If I, I, I it's so whenever I see these, uh, I see these, uh, tutor these videos, these trailers on the expert at the card table. It's always like this super fancy, super mysterious gambling. I don't know. Okay, so the slide is, um, it's like that. That's that's the slide. Eric Nice is one. It's one picture there. We're talking to the glide. It's one picture there, and it's like it's. Let's just read this one chapter here. It's a, hold the deck in the left hand, back to palm, fingers and thumb at opposite sides. Show face of deck to company, then turn it down. And with two, with tips of third and little finger, slide the bottom card half an inch or so towards wrist. And draw the next card out at the end with right hand fingers. Of course, this has the appearance of drawing off the card just shown to the company. It's a form of exchange that may be occasionally employed. Like, <laughs> I like this very much, the difference here. It is an occasional occasional thing you can do, you know, if you're a slide of hand to it, you know, just occasional. And on Royal Road to Card Magic, it's more like centered as one of the main slides you can do. And they also say that, it's, that it has been at the time who got Embro A did right, it, it, it must have been an extremely popular, popular slide, you know? So, so, so. So before we go to the tricks, I just want to um, I just want to um, show you that we also have in the expert card technique the uh, uh, glide, but the new glide, and I uh, never have done it. And it is a glide where you do not use where you do not glide the cards to the short sides, but to the long sides. And I will show you this here. This would be, this would look, this looks something like this here, the picture. And in this book here, the card control, we have the sa exactly same technique but here it's 41. We have the same technique and we use it to catch a, guess what, a pinky break. So there's another picture here. Let me show you this. This is how you did learn magic. This is how you did learn magic before the internet. <laughs> Before the dumbing down of humanity, people would be able to read books and interpret, interpre, interpret, interpret. No context. So, and here we got the glide location. This is where, this is the same picture I showed you. This is where now the glide in this form, which is taught in the expert card table is taught as a control. So, funny enough, we got a technique that is actually kind of a card switch. Now, we find it in a modified version, in a variation, used as a card control. Look at that. Look at that, how fast that goes. Guys, probably you did not know this, never noticed, but I know my literature, right? So, and now I want to give it a try. I want to give it a try. I want to find out. 
and also to encourage you guys, I want to now t um, test this other technique here. So, get the book. I turn the camera back on here. Uh, I hope it cools down now. So, are you good? Is everybody with me? We got 16 folks watching. Now, I was in my world right now. I was reading, saying something. You guys are practicing what's going on in chat. I got into magic for my cousin. My cousin went to prison and his cellmate was in prison for scamming a casino in co uh, co connect, connect, connect. Oh God, man, what's going on with me? Connecticut. Connecticut. With card skills. My cousin came out knowing some very awesome moves. Yeah, I mean, I, you don't have to go to prison to get good with cards, you know what I mean? <laughs> But hey, um, well, I guess prison time was quite productive for your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> the expert at the card table is in my coming order from the magic shop. Hints for f future live stream. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, yes, you can see I'm using your Royal Card Magic also to jam a little bit around and, and to, to, to show in uh, connections and, and links. Because, of course, these things are all related to each other. And if you buy like uh, f 10 books about sleight of hand with cards uh, from uh, from within the same 100 years, you will have a relative circulation around the same topics, the same things, and you will find uh, not necessarily plagiarts, but um, um, repetitions, you know, uh, variations of pr pretty much the same thoughts. And um, this is quite a lot of fun. So, now I'm going back to the card table. Oh, dude! Dude! Oh. What the fuck? Is this not working? Please be working. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So, so we have the, the glide. And for everybody who is now tuning in, that's the glide, okay? We got, um, we, got the f we got the four of clubs. And of course, the four of clubs is in the fourth position of the deck. So we've got one, two, three, and then fourth card from the deck is the fourth of club because the fourth of club is always at the fourth card right, position right this is so insane so that when we have the two of spades obviously the two of spades is the second from the bottom so we got uh, one card and then we got the second card that's the two of spades right and then we got the king the king what what does the king count uh, 11 uh, 13 right um, third, so we got so we got the king at the bottom of the deck and then we got we go from one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then the thirteenth card is the king, right? So, little use case of of that. That's the basic principle. The basic principle of this technique, of course. You wouldn't do it simple like that. That was just now a, uh, a, a ex example. Um, so what you do, what's happening, is that you, you that you 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 you're gliding the cards down, like that, gliding the cards down. And this motion, this muscle motion, which is when you once get the, get the right grip, when you once get it going, when you when you glide it down, yeah, it's going to completely disappear when you do it when you turn the card over, right? And then just try to to, to hold the loose grip, and you're good. So you got to set it up, and there you go. Andy Payne is in the house. Hey, Andy Payne, and he's ha he has a he has a love hate thing with Erdnays. Cavalet just tuning in. Cavalet, welcome to the show. And Honey Badger Strength and Conditioning. Hey, Art Marius, already at it. I see. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Show, 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 show. Okay, and now I, I for the first try, and now I wanna. So this is relatively easy uh, um, uh, move. It's not not a big challenge for me. Uh, but let's see how this looks. So we got um, now a situation 
where uh, we do this with one hand and we push the card aside like with I don't know and I'm just not trying to 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 get to get the idea of it um, only by looking the pictures but that's that, that's not doing anything good that's not that's that's not get oh now I got it now I got it oh no no what how is this supposed to happen how are you supposed to do this so I wanna add, I wanna end up in this position. Like this is this is how I wanna end up. Okay. Th that's a, at least what the picture shows me. That's a picture. That's my hand. Right? Is this right? Okay. So how would you do this? This is weird. So let's 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 just start. Uh, Jump into the new glide. Now we're not in the Royal Road to Card Magic. I just walked away from the Royal Road to Card Magic for a moment. Uh, just to challenge me a little bit. Because I read it before I forget it. And if I once, and this is a very nice thing. Sometimes it's enough for me, at least. If I just, you know, give it a try for once. I will remember this uh, for, for a very long time. Not that I know how to do it then. But I remember that there is something that can be useful. And, 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 and you never know. Sometimes you practice something... Else and then it comes back and you you find the key to the secret to the to the to the uh, ch ch chamber full of gold. Okay, so it says here now. I'm going back to this here. Got some beautiful music going on. Um, it says you hold the pack by the ends in the left hand between the thumb and fingers with the, the with the third joint of the second finger resting on the face of the bottom card. Okay, so this is this grip. Okay, raise the left hand to display the bottom card. Oh, I've, I've started with the left hand. Start, oh no, with the left hand. How am I doing this with the left hand? Like this. Um, then drop it to bring the pack parallel with the surface of the table and a few inches above it. Press the ball of the second finger on the bottom card pull outward slightly to free its inner end from the ball of the thumb and then press it towards the left swinging the card diagonal half an inch of the pack pivoting on the tip of the first finger oh right i don't i don't have any idea i i, I can't i don't know how, how this is supposed to be done so i can't do this i'm doing this with with what with with finger with the second finger ah with the second finger Aha, uh -huh. now we're getting there. So I want to have a pivot motion. I want to have a pivot motion around the, f of, uh, around the index finger. So that's my pivot. And I need to get it loose from the base of my thumb. So what the fuck? So I, I, wanna go, I want it to go like this, like this. Yeah. Where do I know this from? I don't know. You, had, you ever tried this, guys? So I get it to the left. This, uh, I, I, I understand how to pull it to the left, but I don't, I, I don't understand this di diagonally. This, how, how to, uh, where it naturally should go diagonally. I don't understand this. This is, uh... This is beyond me right now. Okay, ah, ah, and now there was it. Now there was it. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Do you see it? There it goes. Now it flips, but it flips out here. It, it jumps like this. I have to now I have to under, under, get it under control. I don't know. Aha, there it was. There, there we are. There we are. Now, uh, now I just did what's in the book. And then I'm taking out and uh, taking out. I'm counting from here, or what? Looks like this, yeah. So like this. Ah, now it's easy. Yep, I got it. I got it. You see how you work a slide? This is how you work a slide. I got it. I got it. Never knew. I never knew this technique. But does it? it, it for me right now. Okay, I, I just doing this for the first time. Um, I'm just doing this for the first time, but um, it 
doesn't feel as natural as the original one, right? But it's a nice variation anyway, so it's a nice variation. And, it, and right now it serves the same, so now you, at this point you can, you, like this, you can use it. You can use this just as a variation of the version of the Royal Road to Card Magic, which, which, would be, which would look something like this. Okay. Now you know it. Yeah, it is just the same. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. It is just the same. It's just the same move. Just having the deck differently positioned in your hand. Anyways. But now, and this is what I was interested in, because you guys are interested in this also probably, how to turn this into a control. Now we turn this into a control. And of course, it is by um, how can it uh, how can it be by catching a break, right? We're catching a break in some manner. So we got uh, we got the ten of uh, diamonds here, and I cut the ten of diamonds in the deck, and then I um, cut the cards, and then I know the ten of diamonds is in the is in the ten position. So we got one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine and ten and then it's just ten of diamonds see magic is already starting to to appear here magical moments in a live session right so of course what did i do if this now was for you a little bit wow what how did you do this now of course i now use the card control by catching a break and i've got a whole tutorial series up and running on my channel <coughs> and you find it Go to my channel page, you find it, the basics of card control. We are not, Leaf Smiles asks what page number is the control. We're not right now, we're not at the Royal Road to Card Magic. Right now I'm uh, with card control by um, Buckley. Okay, so, um, so the glide location. Um, with the pack of cards held in dealing position in the left hand, turn peripheral the cards. Time to the cards, requesting someone to say stop. With the right hand, cut off the cards at the break stop at allowing the top card of the packet in the left hand to the locked at by the spectator. Okay, now I have to do it with my right hand. Super. So, that, okay, this is, so we are in this position and um, we show a spectator the bottom card and um, and then I would do it and just place the card back, right? That's what they want, and then I can catch a break, probably. Yeah, this is what they want. So let me give this a try when I, 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 I don't like this at all. So you say stop. You well, you could show the, you could show the, yeah, and you use the, you could show the spectator, you show the spectator the card he selected, or she selected, and then you cut the cards back, and now I have an, I have an out jog, and then I catch the break, or I just go for a pass, and get my, uh, get my, my, uh, no, <laughs> so, um, this your card, 10 of diamonds, how did I do, how the fuck did I do this now, 10 of diamonds, cut, and then, uh, Ten of times, yeah. I wouldn't do this because if I use the if I use the, um, uh, the 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 dribble to have a card selected, you say stop. I have so many other beautiful options to control a card. Um, I, I would not use here this technique. I would not bother putting effort in it because I could um, show you the card like this, yes, and then I just could. Dro dro which naturally could drop the package on, upon there um, and still be able to catch my break. I hope I just uh, caught it now. Let me let me give this a try. Yes, I got it. Right. I even didn't so stop. You, you go here. It's very. Um, and you have, and then you can have literally the whole package drop onto the onto the card and um, make it happen. All right. This technique. I'm not using this very much. I would need to practice this a little bit. Catching a break. It's very essential in card magic. 
Anyways, we are here with the glide and not with card control to use the glide. Anyways, now I've showed you very different techniques here, very combinations. We got the glide even in this book um, used as a as a card control. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? So now I have the camera rest again for a second just to give it a little cooling time. And then I see what's going on in the book, uh, in the chat. If you press down the bottom of the pack, the card should, yeah, yes, that's it. What page number is the control? Uh, it's not the same book. I mean, in card control. Love my bad. Uh, leaves with 42. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So you're helping each other, uh, each other out while I'm processing too many things at, at the same time. Trying to be interactive with you guys, reading a book, trying to figure out my hands and stuff. Uh, this is uh, absolutely, um, I'm using my brain capacity here right now on 28%. Uh, so this is getting really um, exhausting. Lucky me, I got a nice uh, a bottle of water. Uh, drinking that is very nice. I want to show you something. I had, um, I want to once again thank all my Patreons and uh, for their support on the platform on Patreon and also of course on the support here on YouTube and also everybody tuning in supporting me because it is not so easy to do what I do it is not too easy to stay um to stay with a um positive attitude on YouTube lately um without forcing positivity um this is due a lot of changes that are happening on the platform since 2017 and I don't want to go into detail too much but in general speaking YouTube has completely dismissed the subscription model and has left all the content creators out in the open now competing for click-through rate which leads in a result of quality content drastically dropping down uh, this is one of many very ne negative aspects on the platform for content creators and for let's say community building for that what the platform what what has made youtube um as powerful and as big as it is today you know guys like us coming together and growing together in a relatively fair balanced stability with kind of also kind of a fair competition where those players who would really bring out the best uh, um, sustainable content on a high frequency would also of course grow faster but it wouldn't but wouldn't completely shoot um, like a rocket through the skies leaving everybody behind which happened since uh, since uh, 2017 uh, which you might have realized a few players in every niche became extremely popular insanely successful and everybody else was left behind very sad situation and also um, the situation that YouTube has started um, to um, kind of monitoring and kind of taking um, um, active decision um, active decision making um, on the content that is um, that is promoted on the platform. Um, there are political um, elements going in there, of course, economical reasons, ad revenue, that is the main objective, but also political interest and highly biased, highly biased decision making uh, seems to be taking place and um, affecting the whole climate of the of the of the platform. There is a whole story to it. Probably this is uh, really a revolution with a now a counter revolution of the uh, mainstream media and YouTube seems to uh, seems to be um, uh, be, seems to be um, knighted to, to I say it that now it seems to be herit uh, heritage and uh, herit what's it was um, from the from the oh, wait 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 how's it how's the English word Erben. inherit inherit seems to seems to inherit the uh, function uh, the um, mainstream media outlets print outlets and also television outlets had um, as a ordering function as a propaganda function in society so far and this uh, is changing the face of the platform and this is what we as content creators are all experiencing here now i'm telling you this respectively i know i didn't want to talk about this so much but i came across something that really emotionally 
touched me as a human being, but also as a content creator. And um, let's uh, let's uh, let me show you this where where it is. Uh, right. So I, I let me show you. this is my this is my uh, history of my 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 videos I watched, and I had a, a blast of a week on on YouTube. I I went through through a lot of different fields and. Um, um, uh, topics and niches or niches, whatever you you prefer to say. So here you see, I, I've I've stayed a little bit in stand-up comedy, of course a little bit cards, and then there this educational channels, uh, a very uh, interesting document uh, documentary of of Vice on a guy who, who makes a, a living of um, smoking weed, which I thought was funny. Uh, a woman who who brought uh, who brought home a, a parrot and trains a parrot how to train a parrot, stuff like this. And then um, I also stayed. A little bit in the whole guard gardening community um, I don't know how, how I happen to end up there um, and also in the cannabis uh, community which I never knew uh, was out there and it was quite interesting to to get come across uh, um, a, a, a very vital uh, community of content creators and one channel st uh, was sticking out called uh, rough house studios with extremely quality um, content um, specifically in this niche so I, I really started watching his uh, content um, because because it was so well organized and it was really educational. So although I'm not into gro g gardening at all and stuff, I was I was really c c catching interest. Just like the other guy here wrote in the comments, uh, you know, you're interested to me to magic. So I was getting interested in that, and the the, co the content was so good built and put together. That I just kept watching and watching, and then I was realized there are gaps. I, what, there are gaps. They there used to be. Uh, there, there, there are links in the videos. The guy put points out to videos. It's all very well designed so that it works as a resource channel. So I also started this, started observing this channel, or now looking at this channel, analyzing this channel as a content creator. And then um, I went to his uh, actual actual channel page to check out what's going on. And then I came across uh, across this video here. This is called uh, uh, "Creator uh, Burnout Uncreate YouTube Content." Uh, uh, deletion live show. So he goes in this uh, channel. He goes live and he deletes videos. Um, his name is, uh, I believe, uh, Matt, um, and he built maybe together with somebody an amazing YouTube channel. And um, due to the development on the platform and frustration level uh, went so high on his behalf, um, and he made kind of a choice, uh, kind of his uh, because he's in this very niche, uh, specific niche that also might be um, might be getting trouble because of uh, political um, uh, things involved. Um, got completely demonetized, and uh, and he was very very unhappy with the situation. And then he started to lead to delete very very. Um, very successful um, videos in terms of um, reach and growth for his channel. Just blew my mind, literally blew my mind. And if you want to know his take on the thing, it's here and uh, that's the info box of um, of this specific video. You will find this video in the info cards info cards up, up up there up there up there where you can where you can see my arm anymore um i've, I've linked this will teleport you to a very different place to a very emotional moment of a youtuber who has a very with with um uh, over 400k we have to at the point where this happened he was about i'm guessing for 44 450,000 subscribers okay um so that also was a, that was an emotional uh, moment probably for a whole community just that you know in case at a certain point later on you go to check this out and i'm just giving you this as a this way because i found this excellent accidentally really from parrots over carrots to cannabis going to this video that really displays the current devastating troubling frustrating state of of youtube and of social media in general because uh, silicon valley and these companies of silicon valley seem not being able um or willing to handle their responsibility um, in a humane and ethical way, and this is a this is a really troubling scenario, and this is this is going to stick with us for a while, because this whole thing we are doing here right now, building a community, 
um, doing what we love, we are becoming dependent ever more from these platforms. And they are at the point right now where they do destroy platforms like this with the blink of an eye. They just snap with their finger. You wake up one morning and all your content is gone. The connection is gone. And um, they seem to be not taking uh, any responsibility in there. It's a crazy development. And please don't get me wrong. I'm not here only saying uh, YouTube is bad and YouTube sucks. It's to a huge extent a technological problem, uh, but nonetheless, it needs to be addressed as what it is, uh, and especially it needs to to be taken very serious, seriously in the effect it has on real human being, like real human being, and. Um, you can't because you cannot believe how important how how um, not not important how um how precious how valuable how uh, emotional a channel building a community gets you know this i get to know you we get to know each other you get to know each other and um in the chat where is the chat um you get to know each other in the chat and um we 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 come back on a regular basis and so on we do the thing we love and stuff and um and there are other people who are doing the same who did do nothing wrong nothing wrong and they're just gone they're just gone overnight everything is just taken away and um and uh, and and this is just me um showing solidarity um, to these people, to 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 these people who are just getting executed, basically, arbitrary. It's a very 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 unsettling scenario, um, and uh, so more. Uh, one uh, so one more time thank you all so much for your support and um also for your for your loyalty in a way at a certain point um and also yeah for um for your commitment uh, for the guys who did that on patreon like just really i'm um, saying this is this this is uh, this is what we want to give you because there's something happening that is valuable also to us and to me and to everybody and this is great this is how the internet can be can be used as a, as a uh, tool but of course any any tool can also be misused and we and um and also this is part of the problem because also also this YouTube has got to get, get under control you know um anyways um now that's it I just wanted to share you with this because that's that was in my YouTube right um this week a um a pretty a pretty um how, how to say a pretty um intense not intense a, pre, a, a very a very unexpected 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 very unexpected uh um development you know <laughs> okay okay i did i you know i have to look at my stats probably oh we still got nine, nine, nine folks viewing. Usually, when when uh, when I go into a, a topic like this in this live streams here, uh, people go like, ah, ah, yeah, yeah, we talk about this another day. Anyways, back to the card table. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this. But it's uh, it's just um, it just gets gets to me, and I really know how it feels, you know. Um, so here, yeah, um, Honey Badger Strange says now here, yeah, um, it's a shame people like you are being short shamed while uh, some clickbait viewers get all the views. I see this all the time uh, with uh, fitness channels, fitness channels, yeah. Uh, I've, uh, yeah, fitness channel, fit, yeah, that's a spot as well, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I know, uh, I, I know at least one, um, fitness channel which deserves so much, uh, like, this is like kind of, hard, it's kind of, kind of a hardcore bodybuilding guy, you know, and this is also where, where you go in there and you go like, okay, well, how are these guys rolling? Okay, okay, now they do this, now they do that, it's funny to see, and then all the knowledge they have and all the theory that goes in there, and then you have this guy who explains it really well, you know, if a guy like, I mean, I have a, I have a, um, I have a machine to to lift weights uh, here in my living room. I could do it any time, you know. <laughs> and then yeah, just uh, go on YouTube and uh, find a guy like that, and he will take will he will take all the time in the world to really explain the basics, what it's important. Probably has a lot of material out there to guiding you for to for getting successful with this thing. Uh, how great is that? How, how great is that? And yes, I don't I don't even want to want to know how the uh, the mainstream the successful mainstream channels in this uh 
in this world look like? <laughs> Anyways, we talked enough about it. We are in for a solid hour. For a solid hour. So a solid hour live stream here on a Tuesday night. So it's 9 p.m. Berlin stand standard time, standard side. It's GMT plus two. Um, thank you for tuning in, everybody. We just discussed the handling of the glide. Very simple, very useful. That's a classic slide. I also looked into a version of um, another book, Card Control. And now it's time to take a look at the tricks. Shall we? What do you say about that, everybody? I'm turning the camera back on again. There we go. There we go, there we go. Now, design for laughter. This is a trick in which the magician appears unknowingly to have made a mistake, which ensures the failure of his feet. The more certain the spectators are of this, the more they enjoy his predicament, and the more astonished and appreciative they are when the trick proves to be successful after all. Now, first, first thing with the trick, Designed for laughter. And this is once again why I like the book, The Royal Road to Card Magic, so very much. It is, from its handling, a relatively easy trick. It is almost self-working, although a slide comes to use. A very simple slide. However, the glide, of course. And this trick is all about if you analyze it how how it appears from the layman's point of view from the onlookers point of view it's all about showmanship it is all about showmanship the design for laughter it is all about showmanship and if you play this well this will really get these these uh, joyful truly joyful reactions and um, so first of all we have a card selected Have him have the spectator show the card to everyone. And this is important for all must know the card or they will not enjoy the feed. Um, by the way, um, if you're working with the card selection, always uh, make sure, except there's a specific turn in the trick that you don't want everybody to know the card. Usually you want everybody to know the card because there are these ob obnoxious individuals. If they only know the card, And even, even if you succeeded, they will play for a fool and they will just say it's not their card. And it's, it's not even rare, it happens a lot of times. So whenever you have somebody card, make the guy show the card or make the person show the card to as many people as possible, okay? Mm. Respectively to the crowd, you're entertaining right now. You doesn't need food. <laughs> Doesn't need to go with the card to some random stranger. Yeah, I selected this card. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Well, this is what Ad Marius taught on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so uh, next I have the card replaced and control it to the top of the deck by means of the overhand shuffle control. Finally, shuffle the card to the bottom and leave it there. So, so now we are in the Royal Road to Card Magic and now we are making use of the overhand shuffle, of course. So uh, there are these different techniques to, to control a card, of course, but uh, what would you say? So you can, you, you can play it like this. You can have a spectator select the card by saying stop. So the spectator says stop at any time. Then you sh um, uh, show the card to the spectator and then you shuffle the rest of the cards on top of there. Yeah, shuffle the deck one more time. And even one more time. What is not enough? I'm shuffling this just a freaking third time. Doesn't matter. Give the cards solid cut, right? And cut them onto the table, right? So there we are. We are rolling here with the 10 of diamonds, somewhere buried in the deck of cards. Now place the deck on the table for you and announce what you propose and do somewhat after this. And now here we have the situation, and this is another tip, when you are working with uh, older books, something like this, they now give you a, um, a pattern at hand. And they, they, they say now one of the most difficult feats with cards is that 
known as the location by card. Let me show you what I mean. Turn the spectator who chooses the card saying, will you assist me, sir? I must make two conditions. However, first that you will not at any time name your card or give me any indication that I have discovered it. Second, that when you cut the cards, I shall instruct you. You will say to yourself, this I cannot fail to do. That, of course, is an application of the principles of Dr. Que, the eminent French psychologist, to feed of skill with cards. It is su surprising when a person cut with the complete confidence, he will actually cut the card which he has chosen and which has been shuffled into the pack. So this is just a pattern example of bullshit. We are now in the situation, we have a spectator selected card, we have the card lost in the deck, and now we bullshit the spectator. We say, no, you cut the cards, And your mission is, and you get you get a three three chances here, and uh, we need these chances. Now I'm just improvising on the same plot. We need these chances because when you cut the cards, you want to cut to cut to your card the the, the diamonds, the, the the ten of diamonds, right? It's the ten of diamonds. Yeah, it's the ten of diamonds. You want to cut to the ten of diamonds, and so the, it works by the principle of psychology, which a French uh, professor in psychology, Dr. Chloé found out, Couché, uh, um, Dr. Frankenstein found out, that is when you say, um, when you say three times, Mary, Mary, I'm a douche, you will cut to the right card. <laughs> Whatever, it really doesn't matter, because people are not dumb, they just want to enjoy the interaction. It's just that it's clear that you start playing, start getting the spectator into a role play here that now he is going to cut to his card, which is an impossible f challenge, which is, which is, a, or not, it's not impossible, it's very unlikely, so it is a gambling situation in a certain way. Now, we go on with bullshitting here and they, they in the Royal Road to Card Magic, they, they write, gravely describe a circle around the deck with your extended index finger, then move your finger to make a cross above it. And what do you say? And then say, uh, this is now, this is a lecture in bullshitting. Now I ask you to cut off about one third of the cards as you say to yourself, this cannot fail to do. So, <laughs> in the Royal Road to Card Magic, and the next time I do this, I will exactly perform it. Like, I never did it like this. Three times, go, cross! <laughs> no, they will go like, like this, cross. Now cut the deck and say to yourself, I cannot fail. I cannot fail. Now, do this again. I cannot fail. Something like this, right? Cut it there. There you go. There are now three packets on the table and the chosen card is at the bottom of the left-hand package. The way I did cut the cards, the chosen card is at the bottom of the middle card package. Doesn't, doesn't really matter in this scenario, right? So. And now, what do I do? Square the packets carefully and continue. There can be no doubt and say, I cannot know which card your card must again ask you to get Pick up the right hand packet. Face down in your left hand in position for the glide. Turn it so that the face card can be seen by everyone. Glance at it and say, this is not your card. Turn the packet face downwards. Okay, so here's what we roll now. The spectator now has to cut the cards. So I take the top card, I flash it, I took at it, look at it. I look at the spectator and then I say, that is not your card. That is not your card. Right, is that how I do it? Drop this on the other package, do it in the same manner, look at the card, and I'm saying, this is not your card either. And at this point, um, I'm starting, wait a second, I, I'm not, I don't need to perform a glide in this moment. This is not your card either. And at this point, you start bullshitting your 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 um, spectator, your victim. At this point, it's, it's, it's becoming a, really a victim. Um, <laughs> Even more, you're going like something like this. You're not really confident with yourself, aren't you? Well, because it was clearly instructed by me as the magician, as the magician, that you have to be confident while you cut the cards. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And by the looks, you seem to be a very confident person. But now I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed. 
I, I'm getting disappointed. Now you turn on. Let me see if this works. Let me see. Let me. This is your last chance. Now you take the last package. You look at it, and you say, "See, that's what I'm talking about." Um, this is also not your card. So how 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 you think how how you, how you think we're working this? And now. How would we proceed then? Place the command. It's been a chosen card, but you keep a poker face. You keep a poker face, you play with it. Apparently, you lack confidence in yourself, for that's not your card either. Right? So, they, the Royal Road to Card Magic guys, they also go with the confidence thing. In spite of your previous instructions, some, um, someone may try to interrupt you at this point. Okay, now they, they give you a little bit of I uh, insights. That's because the people now really think this is the, the selected card the selection line on the table and they're going to point out they say no no but it's the spectators card you ignore this so if take no notice at one Okay, now here comes a subtle move. So, we're still in this position. I still have the glide open. And now I say, I take a bo another bottom card. And I say, look. All these three cards. All these three cards. Are not your card. And place the card back at the same position. Which is um, finally convincing the spectators that the selected card is on the table. And then you have a spectator chose a card. Uh, the number... And then you've been asked... Yeah, yeah, you know you ask the spectator after a number. Like, let's say the spectator says 10. So you deal down the bottom card. And then you perform the glide once again, and you p p d deal down uh, up until the 10. Right? And 10 cards, doesn't matter how many it's now. And finally, you come out with a card, which from the spectator's point of view is a random card out of the deck. But you are claiming now as a magician that this is the spectator's card, right? Here's your card, you say confidently, you will now for the first time name your card. So now I confront the spectator with this confrontation time and say, now name for the first time your card. And the spectator names the card. Here's where your ability to act convincingly will be of prime importance. Pretend to be taken aback upon hearing the card named. Repeat it, uh, its name and glance covertly at the card on the table which the spectators believe to be the chosen card. Usually at this point someone with no little glee will tell you that the chosen card is on the table and that you have made a mistake. Occasionally because of courtesy no one will fall into the trap. In either case after a moment you bring you brighten and say that's right here's the card. Turn over the card you hold and show that it is required card. It is at this point that the trick is most enjoyable. You will find invariably that someone will reach for the table card which should be but it's not the chosen card the laughter and puzzlement which this action provokes will reply you a hundredfold for the slight effort you have made in mastering the trick okay could anybody follow this 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 completely broken thing here i just did because i was learning this myself Because I'm not prepared, of course I'm, I'm not prepared. I do not study the. I do not. I do not uh, um, study the tricks we learn here today. We just. I'm. I'm just one of you. You know. So, let's walk through this again. Hopefully, now it's time to remind this thing. But before I do that, I have to. I have to do this because it's so freaking hard. And I have to turn the camera off again for a little time. And we have a little, we have a little dis discussion yet. From this, what what you've uh, seen now? Did you do you now understand the trick, or don't you? Did you already know the trick? Maybe. 
What do you think about this trick? What do you think about um, this whole premise and the whole setup? Um, do you care about it? Did you ever try it? And all these questions. Hit the keys, guys. Because now you just have a little break from your practice with your cards. Chill your hands. And then let answer some questions. And then you can back practice. Because sometimes making breaks within the practice sessions uh, really helps. And we have a stable um, viewership here of um, 9 to 11 folks. Thank you so much, everybody, staying with me. I'm having a great time. I now have again the time that uh, that's the feeling, the exper experiencing time, going very, very um, slowly. So I thought we would be f much faster, doing this much longer. So Ko Kowalski said I didn't see the trick. I didn't. Um, I didn't do the trick here now. I'm, I was trying to learn this myself, uh, but I can give it a try now to perform this. Stevie Smite says, I believe it's one of the best tricks in the book. I, um, actually, the, the, the topsy was, uh, was so hilarious. That uh, the, the topsy turning trick was so hilarious. What trick is it? We're talking about design for laughter right now and the Royal Road to Card Magic because we are doing here a walkthrough of the Royal Road to Card Magic. Chapter by chapter, every week, every Tuesday, uh, from, from, from 8 to open end, you know, uh, as long as we, as we um, stay sane, as long as we can bring it all together. So, Kowalski says, uh, ex excellent trick, excellent trick, very nice. Um, let me give this a try, let me give this a try. Let me give this a try. Kowalski, where, where's, where's, uh, dickhead, a <laughs> uh, deckhead. <laughs> I love this, I love this nickname. For everybody who's tuning in later, there was a guy called Deckhead, which is so close to dickhead, and I love it. Okay, so we have a spectator. We have a spectator select a card, and the objective is to get the card. And the objective is to get the card at the bottom of the deck, right? And the royal, so so let's work in here with the um, with the uh, with the Ace of Spades because the Ace of Spades is always always a very nice card. So, give any card a nice nice feel here, and now. I have the spectator with the ace of spades, which is a spectator's card, which I don't even know. I don't I don't know it. That's important. As a magician, spectator knows it, and all the other spectators knows it. I now play a game with the spectator. I say you uh, it's challenge is now to cut the cards to to um to your selection. In our case now the ace of spades. And you tell the spectator that he has magical powers or she has magical powers. But she just needs to find them. So she's got to look deep inside her soul to find the, the powerful magic which is hidden there somewhere. Give it a try. Come on. Yeah. Right? You come up, you say, sub, tell some story about the power of the magic or whatever or the, the power of the psychology. When you're confident enough, you will cut the to the right cards and then you have to spectator cut the cards and uh, basically because um, that, that's how they cut you just have to you know to do I don't know one third one third to the one third to the right one third to the left doesn't really matter now I say let's find out if you found your magical powers or if you are confident enough and then you turn one package around and say so this first attempt this didn't really work I'm, I'm very sorry, but that didn't really work. Let's check out the second attempt of yours. Well, that's not working either. Don't you think so? And um, this is now confusing me and you're bullshitting now your spectator because you thought he or she had more magical powers or w was more confident, you know? So there's a mistake here. The spectator didn't cut 
to the to the selection up until the very point because also the ace of spades is not the spectator selection right so placing the card onto the table now the audience thinks that you just made a mistake as a magician because they're thinking now the ace of spades lies on the table now you take another card here and you say look one two three cards all these three cards that you that you cut out of the deck and none of them is the spectator it's your card what was the ace of spades why why are you such a loser you know you wouldn't do you wouldn't say something like this you would never intimidate your spectator and just you know trying to get to overdose the emotion what what i'm trying to do here i would I, I would want to give the to give the spectator a little bit the sensation of uh of you know of being a little bit embarrassed but it's okay to do that in this position because right now everybody thinks that I'm embarrassing myself. You get you you with me on this one? This is a, a, a very nice psychology that's going on here, which makes this trick so beautiful. Anyway, so you say so now I have to figure this out now magically. So um random spectator name any any number. Spectator name, names any number. Let, let's say the uh, th let's say the, uh, the 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 um, the eight. Let's say the eight. So we're dealing down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. And then you finally confront the spectator and say, "What is the card you selected?" Because I believe the guy behind you is much more confident <laughs> somehow <laughs> and then the person says it's the ace of spades and you say the ace of spades and at this point you wait for the moment when somebody is saying yeah this line here you made a mistake <laughs> and then it turns the card over and then it's not the ace of spades it's in your hand but if nobody does that, you say still, bang. And at that point, probably somebody will go and reach for the card. Designed for laughter. Now, to make this workable for me now, what I would do, I would um, go through it once again through the, through the handling. Just a, just, a, just a workflow, yeah? When do I grab the when do i go up it's not a big deal it's just like a very simple tour like routine very simple and that what now when i practice this already start practicing this what what i'm curious about is how would i how would i how would i interact with the audience how would i play it with the audience how strong would i go how would i uh, you know um lead how, how 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 much how sensitive would i be or how aggressively would i be um performing this plot of someone not being conscious uh, confident enough um turning the right card over so i believe i believe the idea with um somebody being uh, somebody looking for the magic inside of them and then failing is a bad idea I wouldn't do this. I would really go then with the theme of the Royal Road to Card Magic with the psychology of being confident in yourself and um, then cutting to the right card. But because this is such a, this is such a um, idiotic claim, you know, there, the con luck has not, because luck and confidence are not related to each other, you know. Uh, so, so it's it's there's no worries in playing this game that somebody is not is, is actually failing and cutting to their card. Although there's this also this other comp component that he's actually not failing from a um, spectator's point of view because he's actually cut to the cards because you are making the mistake as the ma as the magician, right? You see what I'm doing here right now? This is just my thought process going through what am I actually communicating with my audience? What is the finesse? What is actually happening? And I try to be empathic with my audience at this point. And it's just an imaginary random people. It's just human beings. And um, 
and I, but I need to understand this. What, what, what is happening within the communication? And as soon as I understand this, I can get a general pattern, a general, I, 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 I translate the, the general idea into my own language, which I can easily do then now. And then I'm also prepared for spontaneous improvisation. So if I'm playing this with a very lo loose and nice character, because sometimes people, you know, people are very different. And it might be the case, I would argue today, that if you say to someone, you know, it's a new thing in psychology, that when you believe in yourself, you, you will find to cut the right cards. It's by the, but that somebody takes it seriously. And if you play this theme, somebody not not getting offended but but f feels uncomfort instead of meeting a person when you pull something off like this they go and like what i think i'm an idiot and they just go for it and they have a great time and they say and they, they go like this i believe in myself i be, and then you go like yeah but you did not believe and then people go like no man i believed in myself this why this is why is it not working this is not my are you sure you mean uh, you meet characters like this just taking two extremes somebody very um outspoken confrontative um, almost aggressive someone very shy very um um inward and um, very very sensitive and you gotta know uh, what you're dealing with when you perform a trick like this because it's so much about um about entertainment and the, the real art about this trick is by by far not the handling and by far not remembering the plot um and also the the uh, the design no no the, the 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 art in this trick lies to to get the best out of it with any given audience and that's why it's in the book of the road that's why I, I, most of the tricks in the road to card magic have this have this common topic to learn without actually really pointing it out and that's what what this this is very subtle very subtle and powerful knowledge because you there is stuff in in uh, in the art form that you will only learn and under that you will only learn by by experience yeah having said this let's take a chat uh, look in the chat we're here trying to send this for the third time law how long have you been doing uh, i think it's a good idea to get with the uh, train tech team of the book where do you get the book can i get it from amazon Yeah, you can get the Royal Road to Card Magic, and I, I'm not an Amazon partner yet because I would then say yes. Go down to the uh, uh, there's some microphone. Now. Go down to the link and buy it from there. Yeah, I'm not there yet. I don't. I'm not an Amazon partner. Um, uh, but uh, by the way, guys, if you want to support my work, there's a link to my Patreon site, which you just can check out. I've got a very um, welcoming uh, video explaining myself what I'm doing here with nice text and everything and <clears throat> you can only follow me at first you don't have to make a commitment immediately so feel free or don't be scared just checking out the patreon browse through it get to know me better um and um you know uh, let's see what's happening in the future but there's a very easy way to support me directly and this is downloading a new web browser and you find the download link in the info cards let me show you this web browser this is this web browser here by the way that's my pattern uh, page you know so and this is brave and brave is comes with an inbuilt ad blocker and let me show you this is a new tab this is how it looks like when you open a new tab so you see here i've been uh trackers these are 21,188 trackers blocked these are 100 100 <laughs> and ads blocked and 1830 I don't know even know what that shit is spare time they calculate 2.5 hours so far now this blocker here has a little icon here it says it gives you a dime uh, a lion and when you're is let's say i'm here on a um on on the, on the youtube side and i click here you will see that there is 99 plus elements blocked and this is uh trackers 
ads and so on and so on. So this is pretty amazing. You know, gives you a very clean ride through the internet. Very, uh, very fast and slick browsing experience. But of course, it, um, uh, content creators don't get ad revenue. Also, well, this problem is solved because this browser comes with an inbuilt crypto crypto wallet and with an, its own crypto token called basic attention token which you can purchase and then put into the system and then automa automatically give to your favorite content creators or you can even tip your favorite content creators so if i want to tip them now i click here this diamond triangle and then this thing opens up and you can see I have 43.9 bet in my wallet and this is right now uh, 14 US dollars and um, bet is not uh, this royalty free planet is not a um, verified uh, user yet so I could tip them but they only would get the money if they in a certain time amount would uh, 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 um, would become verified and also here I can choose to optimize um, tipping if I care and if you go to the reward settings this looks like this so here is my crypto wallet and as you can see in july in, Ju in june i paid six us dollars automized with the currency basic attention token to my favorite content creators going for july no not to myself but this would be crazy right now philip de franco Philip DeFranco and Wang. Philip DeFranco gets 55 and Wang gets 30, 37 of 20 bet of 6.75 US dollars automized. And everybody who's using this browser, watching my content, I get it as well. And also you get money by watching ads. So I've decided to watch ads on this browser. I received 24 ads and I decided to get five ads per hour. That's, I believe that's the maximum. You can watch ads right now. Because believe me, trust me, compared to a normal browsing session on Chrome without ad blocker, this is, uh, this is a different universe. This is so clean. This is, your brain will thank you. Your brain will say thank you that all this unnecessary information is not needed to be processed and anymore. It is healthy. I'm telling you, it's already healthy. So, but you get money for watching this. So I got, by through watching advertisement, 12.4 bet, which is $4.20. And now you can calculate yourself. This is kind of a very crazy system. And um, you don't have to sign in for this whole crypto wallet thing when you get started with it. But why wouldn't you? Because uh, you don't need to uh, contribute to the system. You just, f first of all, get, can, can get money for watching ads if you're that type of person of course that system wasn't designed for that it, it was designed for creating a fair circulation uh, constant circulation um, f for content and adver advertisement distribution absolutely crazy let's see where this sucker is going I'm super excited if you download however now the browser with the link I will get five dollars BAT which are going to be thrown into the system here and then they and then uh, Philip DeFranco will get money and the, but how much he decides to give to the people and so on and so on you know you get the point you get the idea uh, I just love this I love this so much oh I've been talking so much that the camera is overheating again I'm such a dick why didn't I turn the camera off a crazy Kowalski, peace out. Love to you too, brothers and sisters. Take it easy. So. Are you guys having a great time? We are now in for one hour and 37 minutes. Didn't crash so far. Streaming quality seems to be dope. I'm having a great time.
We just learned a card trick using the glide. Designed for laughter. If there are any questions open about this trick, if you want to mention anything, now is your time before we proceed to the next trick in that book. So, now I'm just reading your comment. Yes, that is something I've learned from performing and it cured my stage fright. Every spectator is different and every trick, although it's the same trick, is different. Damn, now I feel like I'm rambling. No, no, everything's all right. I just didn't look into the uh, comments uh, so much. So, so Designed for Laughter cured your stage fright. That's, that's cool. That's crazy. Because, yeah, because it's an easy trick and... Um, it, it goes on its own and you're uh, with your audience and you, you if uh, yeah i understand this i it, it, it makes sense um this is a good one for hecklers you can sort of act like a jerk but in the end you're 100 percent right yeah kind of but don't overdose the jerkery you know there's enough jerks in there because uh, this is an entertainment you don't want to you don't want to alienate and annoy the people right So, let's use the book to get into the next trick here. So we got the design for laughter. And now, ah, yeah, now we got to the packet thing. And then I didn't, um, didn't practice either. But I wanted to do this. I, I, I was, I, when I read it about it, I was kind of interested in this trick. So where am I? The glimpse, the glimpse? No, the key card, that's, that's the glide here. Observation test. Observation test. The glide, as we have shown, is a useful slide which with, uh, with which many effects can be, can be had. Here's another use to which it can be put on that one that enables you to vanish one card and make another appear in its place. You know, this, uh, this, is, uh, this is now, once again, Road Road to Card Magic because um, although although it, it's not in the f center and focus with uh, design for laughter it's also a card change you know but it's not as a visual effect you know it's just like a wait did we really what happened you know and pretty much the same idea is now incorporated here with this next tray observation test but in a completely different th uh, different uh, in a completely different manner Shuffle the pack, have a card uh, drawn and noted, and when it's replaced, control it to the face of the pack by means of the overhand shuffle control. So we're not talking about control here. And I don't want to think about how I do this right now, so we're working with the ace of spades again at the bottom card. It represents a spectator selected card, and it is, it is lost in the deck from a spectator's point of view but it is uh, actually already controlled to the bottom of the card. And at this point, who got a brouet? And this is only page 57. Do take this for granted. You need to know, they take this for granted that you can do this with the means of the overhand shuffle, okay? Turn the pack with the face towards yourself so that no one can see the cards and run through them. Removing the four two spots and placing them at the face of the pack in, the, in black, red, black red order. This is a test of your powers of the observation you explain. I shall use the four two spots to make the test. So I take the cards in front of me and I take the um, two spots in black like this probably. Now this is now this introduces the novice of the art into to 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 stalking in front of, of a of an audience and uh, getting getting to get the experience. So what I have now, and I don't ha need to add, I don't have to hide it here because I um because I um. I have an explanation that the four cards that I took out of the car, out of the deck are uh, uh, is, are needed for the for the observation test for testing the power of your of your observation right spectator's observation.
So, so what we have now, from a spectator's point of view, we have a card lost in the deck. Let's go to the card table for, once and for all again. What is happening? Darkness is all I see. So we're having, we have the card lost in the deck and we're having, then we de then take out four cards out of the pack, which are the four twos. So I want, and then you want to ask the spectator, you, you will ask the spectator to memorize, to remember the sequence of the colors. So we take the bottom card and it's a black card. And now I'm doing something like crazy. And this is the, the thing I don't on ER right. So, and now they want me to do something impossible, right? How is this supposed to do? Now, now it says here in the book, Glide back the card now at the bottom. Remove the two cards above it as one by grasping them at the outer end between the right thumb above and the fingers below. As they are drawn from the left hand, press against their sides with the left index finger and thumb, thus keeping the two cards in perfect alignment. I sh I'm now supposed to deal two cards as one from the glide. And how is this done? Like this. Are you kidding me? Like this. Yeah. Bang. Check this out. Aha. Uh -huh. I never knew this works. Okay. Here we go. So, this would be like this. Like this. My hands are sweaty now. Is it like this? That's like this. Wait. There you go. Now I'm de but, how, but how do I deal them onto the table? That's crazy. As one. First card comes from the bottom. Second. These two cards. Crazy. That's insane. So. So right now, I've, I've, so I would, so just do it like this, right? Right now, I think this is not, the, the, from that is not a easy trick. From the sleight of hand level here for Novit. So, Hugat Broya pushing there, pushing us. Remove the two cards above it as one by grasping them at the outer end between the right thumb ab above and the fingers below. As they are drawn from the left hand, press against their sides with the left index finger and the thumb, thus keeping the two cards in perfect alignment. Deal these two cards face upwards as one upon the first two cards same back. So I did it right and we have to talk about the situation. So this is something you need to practice and you need to have to, to figure out a really nice way. But first of all things, so black, red, take the last card and say this is naturally... Okay, now I'm doing something wrong here. Because what is going on? Because I'm having five cards. So, I'm impatient. I have to do this step by step. I'm having five cards in my hands. Turn them face downwards and hold them in the left hand in readiness for the glide. The top card is the chosen card and under it are the four two spots. I shall ask you to remember the sequence of the colors you continue. Remove the bottom card with the right hand and deal it face upwards on the table calling it color. So I would go and use at least the same method. I don't know how I do this now. 
Deal the card now. So I shot the calling color red. Deal the card now at the bottom face upwards on the first card in the same way. Ah, I just repeat the motion. So I do this once again. Now I do this. Now I don't have two cards anymore. That's crazy. Aha! So now it makes perfectly sense. Now, now I'm doing it just like that. Yeah, but I just don't, don't flash, of course. So now, and now I, I now I'm, I, yeah, like this. That's that's the move. That one and a half. Now I understood it, guys. I understood it now. Are you still with me? Anybody is still with me? All right, and then I have this one. Glide back the card now at the bottom. So, and now the Royal Road to Card Magic says to me that I should take them cards face down, ready for the for the glimpses, for 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 the, for the glide. But it says pick them up and square them with the face towards yourself, and mix the cards without revealing how many you hold. So now I, I'm 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 I, sh I sh shall mix them cards, um, and I don't know why I should do this. Ah, yeah, I should do this because why should I do this? There's no there's no reason for why I do this. This confuses me right now. And then also, um, how do I how do I mix these cards without revealing? In this manner, it's supposed to be mixed like this. That it's more than that's more than that's more than four cards. That's stupid. That, that doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Pick them up, square them with the first one. Be sure that the, the chosen card is third from the top when you finish. <coughs> A good mixing, you say. Turning them face downwards. Take them in your left hand and readiness for the glide. I'll do that again, okay? It's a repetition of the motion. That's, I, that's why I need to shuffle them. But I want to have the card at third from the top. Repeat the action from step number four to step number six, and you will hold one card face downwards in your left hand. It is the chosen card. Okay, third from the top. So I'm, go I'm going. I'm going one. I'm going two. I glide. I'm going three. And I've got the ace on top of the uh, in my hand. Okay, I do that again. Repeating the chosen, this chosen card. Place it face downwards to your right. Pick up the other cards, place them onto the pack, and hold the pack in your hands. This is where, where it, I test your powers of observation, you explain. You see, I made you think that you should observe the color of the cards as I dealt the two spots. That was a trick, for now I want you to tell me the suit of the last card. As you say this, idly cut the pack, thus burying the other cards. The spectator may succeed or fail in naming the proper two spot, but no matter what their answer, you say, I'm sorry, but you were observing the colors so closely that you failed to notice the values of the cards. Have the chosen card named, turn the card on the table, face upwards, and show that it's not two of spots in place, but the chosen card. Okay. Okay. So, let's break this down. So what's happening is that I'm playing, I'm having, I don't, I have a problem with this trick on many, on many scales, on many levels, but we remember the, um, 
and the, the introduction of the Royal Road to Card Magic, if something's not working, um, you shouldn't be too easy judging the tricks, you know? These are all proven. This is all proven material. Well, we are almost uh, 80 years... Oh no, it's, it's 50... 70 years, almost 70 years. In the future, here's the thing. When I do this observation test, why would I have a spectator select a card? This I don't really feel right now, if you know what I mean. So, <clears throat> you have to spectator select a card. And then you go through the deck and then you... So you have a spectator select a card where it stays. The Nine of Diamonds. The Nine of Diamonds goes into the deck and this is where it stays. And then you go or you even shuffle the cards. It doesn't matter. It, it's important that the card is lost. And then you go through the deck to get the four, four twos out of there. With, and then you take the four twos you're working with and you leave the deck aside. I have, I have, I don't, I, I don't really, maybe I'm tired right now, but I have this, I have this, um, I don't, I don't really understand it. Why, what, what's the, what's the reason? This conf it would confuse me as a spectator. It's like, how do I, now I've sp selected the card and now he he's taken, he's taken these pairs of twos out. I don't like it in the way it's explained here. Mm. Now it's the first thing I have trouble with. So and then comes the sequence breaking down, and we play in the sequence that the, that the spectator is going to remember and memorize the. And this is the grip. This is the grip here, like this probably. It's a very, it's a, it's, a, it's a very also very. Um, dangerous moment with a very high chance to extremely flash but again so the spectator is supposed to remember the colors and you do this again and then you're 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 asked to to shuffle the cards but without showing what's going on so probably i would I don't know. So okay, you mix the cards. Yeah, okay. That's easy. You just now that's just how you do it. So this is how I would mix the card. I would keep a double in my hands and then I just would uh, sw switch the other three cards. Problem solved. I do the same thing again. So memorize one, two, and Three. This goes there. You place it in your hands, or put it in your pocket. Put put it on the deck. What card is this? You need to memorize. See, you did not memorize. You were so concentrated on memorizing the colors, you did not memorize the suits. And then it's the spectator's card. It's powerful. I see it because it it has an element of surprise. It has a, um, a, a card switch, it's powerful, but the plotment, the narrative, or the, the, the whole walkthrough somehow kind of feels not, not perfect to me. Maybe I'm tired now because we are streaming here already for two hours. Um, I have to, I have to, I have to just, I will, I will go through this. Once again, uh, I will just make a little break reading your comments and then I will go through this again. Um, I'm trying to figure out what actually causes this, 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 this trouble I'm having here right now. Um, is it because I just don't, simply don't understand it for, for any reason right now? Or is it because I, uh, there, there's really, a, there, this is really not the, the best uh, way of doing it, you know? I'm not sure about it right now. So what are you guys saying? Left so, uh, my ass, others uh, in the glide chapter are better. Left uh, my ass, no prop. 
I remember Divern once saying he used to do all these tricks that required a selection with the same card. So basically he would have uh, only one card selected for the entire performances. Yes. So you can do that, that there. Here. The trick does not make any sense to me. I use the same card that was previously selected for another routine because you are removing four twos. The spectators will think its uh, selection is not required and it's something different. Not everybody agrees it's a weird plot. No, everybody agrees it's a weird plot. How long have you been doing magic? Kowalski. Years. Long time. I don't even know anyone. But not as long as I could, uh, would, would want it to have, actually. I, I'm a late, I'm a late pff, pff, flower. Late bloomer. <laughs> Good. Everybody ag agrees it's a weird plot. I'm not the only. I'm not. It's not my. Uh, it's not my brain only. But we are not here to uh, completely settle this problem. It's just you know this is. Um, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes what's what's uh, what's gold in your hand might be complete reasonable garbage for somebody is for someone else and what's uh gold, gold to them might be completely not working for you and you wonder how can, how does he make this work <laughs> how is that even possible <laughs> that's a, how does he go over this in this brain you know it's like, it's it's uh, it's just like that Uh, slightly perfection as where I'm from. I'm uh, I'm from Germany. Actually, I'm broadcasting from the capital of Germany, Berlin, and we have we're having here 20 to, to 10 uh, p.m. Berlin uh, time, German standard time. This is summertime, GMT plus two. We are uh, br I'm broadcasting here or I'm streaming here for two hours now. Uh, yes, pretty much exactly two hours now. We got currently 10 folks watching in and we are working with the Royal Road to Card Magic. Um, we're going, this is a series here, going through it chapter by chapter. And now we are with um, section four. We are with the, um, with the glide. This is uh, uh, page uh, 43 to... Um, 48 no not so much uh, to say here uh, we've uh, we went into the handling of the slide I, I use other sources also to look at variations of the slide and use uh, case variations of the slide and then we uh, talked about the trick design for laughter uh, which we walked through and now we are uh, talking about the uh, the trick the ob observation test these are the two tricks in the royal road to card magic related to this uh, slide of hand to, to, to this uh, card slide to this card handling technique and I'm ca ca a little bit confused now. I don't really like the plot here. Doesn't make so uh, so much sense. That's the first thing. But still, I'm not giving up on this trick because there is this beautiful moment where um, where the card, um, the spectator's card, appears in the table, and, uh, and possibly, basically. And I believe you can use this. I believe you can really, uh, um, if you, if the is sense is, is extracted from this and put in the right place and in a lo logical structure this is very powerful this is super cool that is one thing but i don't but it's really too late to really go do, go there but i want to want to go through this um i want to show you um how, how i work um how i work slides or um things so we got um we got these cards and we got a spectator's card let's go for the ace of sp it doesn't matter seven of seven diamonds and we 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 need to get logically we need to get those as one package and the solution i'm given here in royal to card magic is probably um the best a, a really working solution yeah because you you, you control the the, sp the selection to the bottom and then without them seeing the cards you bring the f um, four you bring the four twos on top there the four the four twos and you can maybe even with a with a um, with a pinky break here get, getting this uh, thing done with a little bit of misdirection and then you can even bring them bring them on the table and you have to do the the the, the five cards that you need right and uh now we're going through this uh routine with the with the with the glide so we we show the first two cards from the bottom 
then we glide and we take the top card here and this is something where i would um put a lot of um concern in because i what i have to do i take a double here and i have to place it on the table and here i'm already flashing you see that so how is that supposed to go down this is really this is really not this is not this this really doesn't satisfy me at all so i would take it like this doesn't make a sense L like this much easier doesn't make a sense so you come like this and then this is you know now i would i would just pull it out pull it over and place it on the table yes this is how i would do it so i pull it out i lift it up i place it on the table and then i have the last one which i would then snap now because we have very we we very we, we we have a variation now here because we coming we coming now one two and now this one goes from the top this is the first thing i don't i don't like here why why would i do this from the top so one two and then taking it three four no that's not supposed to happen this is this is how it works so you see i'm i'm trying to get this routine like working a little bit groovier one no so it's it's um w one it's one it's two it's three and it's four something like this Then I mix the cards, give them a real good shuffle here, make, need to mix them up. And then I repeat the whole motion. I go one, I go two, I go, I go three, and I go four. Now what, <laughs> what card is it? What card is it? Well, it's the spectator's card. Yeah, now I'm getting I'm getting there for myself. See what's happening here now? I'm getting more comfortable, uh, more 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 fluent with the, with the handling. I'm getting it f makes me feel more comfortable, and then and then this helps me opening up for for trying to to make this work for me trying to get the get the effect into place instead of completely rejecting the whole thing at once at all you know okay there's some stuff going on in the chat we got a here uh, uh slightly perfectionist uh, it, it's 10 uh, uh, 5 p.m where i'm at bonjour à tous uh, ça va tout le monde he uh, is he going to stream every day uh maybe uh it's who's going to stream every day start of fact says berlin is the schönste stadt deutschlands this is a very schöne stadt potato maybe uh, uh what no one once a week ah okay you guys talking about me i thought somebody else yes i'm streaming once a week every tuesday doing the royal road to card magic walkthrough here and this is right now the only thing happening on my channel because i've got a lot of other projects going down and also the climax and the and not the climax the atmosphere on youtube on social media is really really problematic right now i don't feel really comfortable putting much content up uh because uh it seems not to be valued by the platform it seems to be very valued by you guys but um if the ai doesn't show content to the people and then uh, channels just get just get shut down or demonetized arbitrary um uh, this is an, a nasty atmosphere i talked about this before so you guys can all thank my patreons we've got six patreons supporting me financially um <clears throat> which are giving me the motivation boost here right now to keep it up and to uh, to 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 not abandon the ship you know <laughs> although the first rats already started abandoning the ship 
um, since it has become really, really hard for content creators to build a community since uh, YouTube has left, completely dismissed the subscription model. Anyways, I'm up and running um, every Tuesday with this live stream here. And um, as soon as I've got some time and I feel good about it, I will also upload some nice Crips tutorials. For now, you'll find a lot of stuff on my, on my um, channel page tutorial series on several tricks and slides and all the links you need in the info cards. Okay, Kowalski, see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great time. I'm practicing the glide uh, for the first time tonight. I really like the handling the deck from the short sides more than uh, described in the Royal Road because it looks more natural. That's, of course, my personal opinion. Yeah, but that personal opinion um, actually really matters. Um, uh, 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 in, to a very certain, a big extent in magic, because um, um, you need to be completely natural with what you do with your handling, and it feels natural. And if this feels more natural to you and more easier, and it um, serves the same needs, uh, then then that's the better choice. There is no need to go, go somewhere else. The only thing where um, the, uh, the, 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 the personal perception or the personal experience uh, is, doesn't matter is when you feel uncomfortable with certain technique, techniques that just need to be practiced at first in order to be able to build upon that, you know? So because we are holding in card magic things that are uncomfortable and we have to make it look comfortable you know so that's that's where there are no compromises to be made but with something like this if this thing does feel less um uh, um less natural than this thing um uh, please please go for it this thing that i just ca that i i just can't do anymore when, when how did i do it this looks like this, right? Practicing this for the first time, also me. Um, I don't know if I will ever really use this. So, don't be shy to to don't be shy about your personal opinions. It really matters, you know. That that's 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 an open um, course here, an open lecture and discussion. This is uh, this is not. I'm always saying this every live stream. Now, uh, this is not um, the final wording here, you know. Um, this is all work in progress. So take everything I say just as a thought process, um, as a reflection of my own experience, of my own learning process, and for you as a as an input or impulse for your thought process. You don't take it as uh, as um, the ultimate or final word on, on on whatever we're talking about Ran. so we're working here with a book which has been printed uh, in, in in the 50s of the 20th century. 60 years ago, 70 years ago. This is an even much older technique which has been very popular around the uh, <laughs> the, uh, century, the, the turn of the century from the 19th to the 20th century. So we're talking 1800 to 1880 to <laughs> 1920. The glide was a very famous, a famous move. And that is almost 100 years ago, over 100 years ago. Isn't that insane? Can you think about that? And now we're having, we're trying to make a deal out of this. That's a little package trick here. I was just practicing and I keep on practicing a little more. So let's go. Let's get back to the cards. Bring back some music here. Music, uh, music is gone. Yeah. So I say one card. Memorize those cards, right? Pull them out. Could be done like this. Then I pretend to sh to mix them cards. And I need to have the select on the th third position from the top. I turn around again. I do it again. One, two, glide. I can't. And there I failed again. So this is not the handling. So this is the handling I would go for. One more time. Comes from the bottom. Comes from the bottom. Glide. Now I take it out, I turn it around like this. This is how I would perform it. And then I would turn it around like this to get to, to make this variation like a little bit no, more normal. Yeah? Taking all the pack. Pretending to mix the cards just like this. 
just just like this a good mix without of course the people seeing it turn around again comes from the bottom comes from the bottom um, glide and you, you need just a very little glide turn around uh, well here this turn turn around drop this comes to the side pick up one more time let's go through this routine and now this is now this is just practicing this face here in this uh, this package slide of hand move now, I don't care about what I'm saying I don't care about the the point of there I'm just not trying to to um, to practice this thing comes from the bottom comes from the bottom little and uh, just a little tiny glide because you just need to pull it up in the way I would do it now okay sorry and so so this is a double lift basically and then I place it would it place it on the table like this and the other one on top it's a very nice display now this is something that I like now very much mixing the cards so mixing the cards but don't uh, but don't have yeah mixing the cards that's how I would do it that's really nice third position so in the third position if I pull off the same motion right ah I just I'm not getting I'm not I'm, I'm almost getting there so I'm too slow so bang 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 I want to know what card this is no you have not been observing correctly <laughs> ah funny 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 one more time here's the thing guys look look at this this means no matter how we use this here but this means it's a very nice way to display four cards right to display four cards ah, I'm such a loser one more time it's not easy it's not easy the, pr the problem here about this is that um, you, of course your handling needs to, needs to be super super um, super la natural super easy and calm to make to to sell this but what it does you can place four cards on the table and hide one it's very powerful it's a very powerful little package move here right there in the Royal Road to Card Magic and you guys see cameras overheating once again derp 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 it's too hot I just gotta turn the camera off we're we doing this now for two minutes two hours and 15 minutes what do you say are you having a great time is this how it's supposed to be the glide the glide the glide the glide keep on practicing this a little bit because now I'm intrigued now I'm intrigued because due to the fact that due to the fact that um this this is this can actually this is actually a very useful thing and um I, I I just oversaw it I oversaw it so and I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna use it in a way bang the only thing that that that's just not that's that that just bothered me bothers me it is just not clean it just doesn't look that well and maybe I find a way to I will find a way to make this look better but for now this is what I'm what I would be going with and the cool thing about it that it feels really easy right now to to place a double onto the table which is can always be a challenge right so once again one I wouldn't go why I wouldn't know I don't know why I would go for this mixing technique why would I go into this mixing technique technique here in this in this trick because if you do this without the mixing technique you can get the same effect yes honey badger strength and condition the sequence is a bit weird it just doesn't look fully natural this part will definitely benefit from your you engaging the spectators otherwise yes absolutely of course right now that is absolutely sound reasonable comment yes very very much 
on the other hand whenever on the other hand you are calling the spectators attention to the cards because you're dealing them down counting them down naturally their attention goes down there and also you ask them to observe to, to memorize the cards so they would look more on the on the faces of the cards rather than on on the overall hand but still it is um still it is uh it is absolutely not satisf satisfying me right now you know so i'm trying to yeah so one now the, i'm wondering now if you if you spend time that there there there, there might be there might be an uh very uh, maybe another way of, of of creating the same thing yeah, i'm just trying this right now so one two okay oh, just three four i was just very bold now what i just did is i just <laughs> One, two, three, four. No, this doesn't work. Does this work? <laughs> yeah, at a certain point, it's just in, in, yeah, it, it, yeah, no. No way. How did I do this now? No way. Okay. Let's see if the camera is uh, so good, good again. So at this point, I'm going into a little practice routine here. Let's just stay in with this a little bit longer. Um, so because if you if you would expect now this, like this, is how it would needs how it needs to look like, and now it worked. No, I'm I'm actually flashing here. But this is how 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 it would how you would expect this if you if you pull this off you would go like one memorize this please memorize these cards and and it's, it takes big balls to to throw a double to throw a double like this onto the table <laughs> like really one two, I mean think about it one two yeah but it worked you can do it you can do it motherfucker you can do it this is crazy oh this is crazy. But this is something for the bold hearted. I mean, look at this. What are you doing here, basically? So this is because... Ah, and there. You know, it's much much easier to throw, to throw a double onto the table like this. Like you can just... The risk the risk of the of the cards going crazy. Going, going some places. So one, two, and three. Yeah, but you can do it. Trust the double. If you ever heard that one. One, two, three. No, didn't work. Now I don't care about the. Now I now I walk to another. Now I walk to uh, another um, practice phase. I don't care about the order of the cards anymore. I just care about the. About the, about the handling, about the slides. Doesn't everything else doesn't matter right now? Can I? Can I formulate the faith, the, the belief that I can do this, that I get this to a point where I actually can do this? She does magic. Join the club. Hi, she does magic. How you're doing? I like the fat, but it's very different method. As I'm spread. Yeah, maybe uh, eliminate the glide entirely. Louis Peterson writes, "Hide Murray, skip the shuffling, then it's nice." Yes, the shuffling is uh, the shuffling is uh, uh, is pointless. I'm with this now. Now I w w walk to another place already in my thoughts, and now I try to figure out if I can, if I can, if I can, if if this is something you can. 
you, can, we, can we work or if this is just too risky and just not controllable? So how do we elimin eliminate the glide here? Now this worked. Yeah, Nyrosmith is offering some options here. Let me check this out. Skinny spread, right, yeah. Yeah, it's got, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Scanio spread. And yeah, these are all options. I was thinking about this too. I mean, it's not, not it's not so important for, to me right now, um, but I see you guys. Uh, you guys are. Uh, in the matter, in the material, you know what you're talking about. This is really cool. I really love this. Um, but that's that, that's the beauty about it. Then you can really get um, you can really get creative at a moment like this, right? And um, and then it's a challenge to make this your own. C can you can you believe? Can you believe in yourself? Can you believe that you can make it work or not? How you, can you m make it work? And then it's it's always a matter of practice and a matter of uh, timing. It's a nice little routine here for um, for practicing the glide, basically. If you deal the cards down very squarely and the selection is second from the top. Yeah, that's also a very nice idea. So if you deal the cards down very squarely and the selection is second from the top. Yes, very nice. So, um, so we here now bottom bottom dealing, right? <laughs> yeah, that, but that is a, then you need to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You would go like this. Doesn't matter. And you would double. Yeah, or you do it like this. That looked pretty dope, didn't it? It's so basically you're just like this. What I'm, what are we talking about? What, what what is so difficult about this? That's the same thing. I say like memorize, memorize the ah uh, ah uh, right. And you can do it like this. One, two, three, four, five. Isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? Yeah, why not? But I need to shuffle them. It's crazy right now. It's funny, yeah, because it's the same. It's the same thing. And I'm, I'm just bang. Here you go. So what, what else you guys got? So we got the um. Why not count like the Amsecon and push the last two cards like the Amsecon? 
uh, strange card, absolutely. Then you can deal the double down as one card. Hopefully, you could use a double deal and uh, deal from face up. Or just glide your balls across the spectator's face. James Bennett, this is one warning. This is a nice, peaceful community here. Double this where you deal two cards, one in a small pile. That one was great. Thanks so much. This is, uh, yeah, well, this is, uh, there's many options here to go from this. I find it interesting. This is the first time here that in a Royal Road to Card Magic, there comes this. Uh, there was a notion where I, where I was thinking, um, uh, I, 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 I would, I, I'm not satisfied with it. I would like to uh, to improve this in any way. You know, I, w I wanted to improve this in any way. Although we try to learn a method to glide, I really like the way we try to find other methods when it comes to to, to effects yeah i mean we you i i Nairus, monsieur you're tuning in a little bit later we co we covered the glide in the beginning of the of the stream completely um uh, it's really not a, not much of a big deal and in the trick um previous trick the um um the design for laughter there is not much um, much to do about here now this is very unexpectedly and i knew it when i read it um when we prayed that we are ha having we are in a sleight of hand situation here we are dealing with a um we're dealing with a package situation this is all really delicate so again um who got in brew a they um they bring the novice very very um uh, re you know step by step but but this is not a uh uh, this is not a walk in the park. This is a real journey, you know, uh, into this position where they go. And then they try to probably here to get the most out of the glide. And, uh, but again, this now is, uh, is I believe, for novices a little difficult to, to grasp. This was another variation I did right now, you know, because all all our no knowledge uh, when it comes to the double turnover, double lift, um, comes here in handy now for this uh, for this uh, for, for for this situation. Anyways, this is very powerful to hide a card like this and then to have it appear somewhere else, um, and especially if you are working with packages having a very light touch to it is extremely important um, and being pretty um, casual and natural about what you do um, otherwise um, spec spectators easily easily get uh, suspicious you know right there we go So I'm giving cooling the. I'm having the camera cool down a little bit. We right now we have uh, six uh, six of you guys still uh, staying with me. We have uh, we we've been doing this now for two hours and thirty minutes. Thank you so much for your support for tuning in tonight. This is not the end of the stream because I'm going into a little bit of a, um, a, a practice session here, uh, but um, but uh, we 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 leave it. Uh, with this, with the Royal Road to Card Magic, um, we have now um, been through the fourth section, the glide, and next uh, section is section number five. We're talking about card glimpses, you know, glimpsing a card. And um, I will um, show you a glimpse that I like to use um, uh, using the Pharaoh Shuffle, which is very easy. There is no, there, there are so many different techniques. Um, this is going to be pretty much, uh, we, we're going pr pretty much rushing through them because um, uh, yeah, you, we wouldn't, we wouldn't really want to go through all of them super much in detail. There's no need for that. There are so, so many different techniques and it's really one of these uh, techniques where it's whatever, whatever suits, whatever works for you best, that that's your choice. Um, and then we have a, a couple of tricks that use, um, that use uh, the glimpse, the gray spelling trick and, uh, the round and round. 
and um, we're going to go through these just the way we did here like really honestly like really like um, like reading the book for the very first time going in there trying to figure out does this work does it make sense you know be keeping up a critical attitude towards trying to have the to, trying to have the to make the um, the, the lecture time the learning time as productive as possible it's just not we are not we, we just can't follow blindly we just can't um, even if these authors are a super super source um, we just have to understand we really understand what is going on and we we, we, we shall never we shall never forget the onlookers the spectators point of view and as we progress here with the Royal Road to Card Magic, you will see that there there's going to be two layers. It's one layer that is that's the technical layer, the card handling, the slides, the techniques um, embedded. Then we have the trick design, and we also have the 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 psychological aspect of the interaction with the audience. Which what uh, once again, what the, what is the audience experience and when this is going on? Where is where are they with their perception of the situation, and where is the magician? And you will see that this is going to build up, uh, uh, build. This is going to build up very, very, um, very strongly here, up to the point at the end where where this is all about uh, routining cards. Yes, James Bennett, I do. I do write in my books sometimes. Um, Sometimes when I want to um, when I want to analyze the design of a trick, I do um, I do I do mark uh, positions or even um, uh, even write down what phases are in because uh, you can you can uh, strip down a trick by you because usually a, tri a trick also in the older books it's the whole trick so you read the whole trick and you get a pattern and everything. But you can um, break down every trick in um, specific phases. So card selection, card control, um, uh, bullshit time, whatever. You know, there's there are different um, uh, de de these also design uh, formats for for card tricks. And um, sometimes when I try to when I try to get through into material or through material a little bit faster, then I just try to pinpoint out the the, the steps what it is. To, to, to see in w in what way this trick is special or unique or or, or, or um, interesting um, to me or not you know so let's go into a practice session here. A proper mentalism is proper, isn't it? <laughs> I love mental. I, I think mentalism is a great, it's it's not my piece uh, of a cake for now, um, but it, it, I believe it is one, it's one of the last areas in magic where this, where it's, that really manages to mystify the audience, you know, where the, pe the people are like, oh man, is this, maybe this is really real, you know. So now, I just will go into a little, a little table practice session. No, no, no big things here. You've seen all of this, all the time because I'm, I practice here my, my, my things. Um, hopefully, moving on very soon to another chapter with my table work after shooting my um, tutorial series on the basics of table work which i'm uh, which uh, which uh, which has been planned for so long but what, what, what can i do yeah it's it just it's just so much work and as i said before uh there's so much confusing things happening in the last uh, year year and this year on youtube and the development of of the platform 
So, uh, so we see. For now, I'm super happy. I'm doing this with you guys, and you guys are tuning in here on a regular basis every Tuesday, starting at 8 p.m. Berlin time, GMT plus two. James Bennett agrees. Yeah, I agree. But I believe that uh, at, at some point, Mentism will become its own sister art to magic rather than being a branch of magic. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go so far. Um, It, and in a, in a certain way, it already is. In, in a certain way, it, it already is a very... Um, how, how, how do, how, what do I want to say? How very... It's, it's um, ausformuliert. It's really, it's really strong in its appearance already. I am more, uh, I, as you see, more the, the gambler type of um, con man, uh, a magician. I just can't get too serious. And also, e and even in this field, I, I just can't get too serious about it, you know? Uh, so this, so, so mentalism is, is, is something, if I ever go there, I can't see myself really going there, you know, because he, you, you, it's a, it's a serious, a very serious approach to the art form, in my humble opinion. But as I'm always saying, uh, James, it's 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 really up to you. It's a very rich art form. There are basic principles every magician has to learn, no matter w w which direction you're going to. Uh, uh, basic uh, concept of misdirection, of uh, audience management, building up a persona, uh, then the the, the basic um, techniques, um, slide slides, or basic techniques. Of the specific field you're in, and of course, if you walk then into, into an area of mentalism, you will you will spend a lot more time with maybe memorizing uh, uh, things or um, uh, uh, practicing and routining all these patterns. You need to to create these effects, uh, whereas a gambling type of card guy sits more at the table and practice what I'm doing right now. Um, There's so many magicians out there, it is crazy. Just taking a look at this right now. Um. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, let's see. No, which, ca which Kennedy do you mean? Kennedy... I just I was just looking if, if you just look in um <laughs> if you just look in Google uh, in, on YouTube for Kennedy you will find something or at least I find something Kennedy uh, some I don't know okay this is not what what we want to deal with let's let's uh, let's ask Google
Ah, uh, that might be that guy. I believe he was on Sp Britain Got Talent, Talent, or some a, a show or something like this. I don't follow these uh, these big sh show events. Um, are, are, are we talking about this guy? Looks fair. Very professional thing here. Doing a great job uh, presenting himself. Yeah, oh, very nice. Thanks for the tip. I, I will have to take look, look into look into this a little bit, maybe if I have time. So, back to the card table. Oh, guys, I'm tired, man. I'm getting tired now. Uh, 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 speaking of gambling, do you follow Daniel Madison? He's all sorts of great. Yeah, of course, I follow Daniel Madison here on YouTube. Yeah, see, um, yeah, he's really he's a very unique person, a character, also. Akuma uh, asks, what's, uh, what's your favorite pass that Mary's been working on the pass lately on a chapter in Royal Road at the moment? We are getting there here on the pass again, and I'm looking forward to talk about the pass once again. For now, I, I did already do a, um, did do a whole tutorial series on the pass, um, which uh, probably you know already about, because I remember you just, uh, you just commented on one of the videos, something very funny. Yeah, yeah. You you liked one of my tutorials and you had a, 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 you you had to laugh about a joke. I remember this. This was you, right? Akuma Snow. Uh, uh, thank you for the comment. I didn't I didn't have time to to um, reply to this. Usually I reply to reply to comments. Um, I also already did a live stream on the pass, uh, which is the last word on the pass. You will find this find this in the info cards in the to, in the playlist for all the live streams I did. Two. Um, to get through the time until we get there um, because the pass is so because uh, the pass comes at we, we, we just did a glide now the glimpse next week then comes the key card then comes the palm okay then, and then comes the backslip so the pass will take some time here before we get there right so there is material on my channel and thank you so much for the super chat this will make a huge spike in my statistics you know because I, I, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing, I don't know, eight bucks or s or seven bucks a month, uh, usually at ad revenue with everything I do, and when when, <laughs> when somebody gives me a super chat of one of one dollar, like this spikes like so <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for learning me something new today, Admirals. But I have to go now. See you later. Flying V, thank you so much for your support on on Patreon, for sticking around here. Uh, you're uh, awesome. Keep on practicing. And see you next week. And have a great uh, a blast of a time until then. Great stuff. I've been watching uh, that series lately to, uh, to help with it. No worries. Awesome. We're good. So, so learn a, a, a new a new magician also. Thank you so much, James Bennett. Good vibes uh, from Manchester, England. Thank you so much. 
back, uh, good vibes back from Germany. Hopefully, uh, see you again. Uh, I'm doing this regular here, um, every Tuesday live streams. Um, so if you if you care, uh, hit subscribe and uh, notification bell to get notified. Um, if you if if you like that kind of content and if you are serious about learning card magic, because that's what we do in here. Take care, mate. Thank you so much. So, it has been a blast of a time. I just uh, keep on practicing a little bit with some music on my headphones. Things, it takes so much time and energy, but they're worth it. Yeah, you know, right now this channel is a very cozy community, very small, and it's really, really good. It's it's really working close uh, with each other, getting to know each other, and um, I mean, uh, there's th th and this is good, as it looks like on on, uh, on behalf of, of of how YouTube is develop developing. I'm not seeing my channel really taking off in in the future, in the near future. So. Uh, but if that if that would happen one day, we of course then would uh, need to shift uh, somehow to another format or so to for, to keep it more private. Or I do this then on Patreon. For now, this is uh, super uh, super priv privileged for all of us to be really able to uh, to to cl closely uh, work together um, on the thing we love so much, which is uh, entertaining people with uh, performing tricks uh, and illusions with, 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 with such simple gadgets like a deck of cards. That's just, that's just amazing. So, ah, it's nothing, nothing like a real good tally ho. And there he goes, the camera again. I don't care. Oh man, this is crazy. It's so hot and the camera is just overheating all the freaking time. Can you believe that? All the freaking time. By the way, guys, uh, yes, this week from last Tuesday to this Tuesday was so loaded. In my, it was insane. I couldn't believe it. It was the time went so quickly and I did experience so many things. I couldn't tell you what actually. It was just like... And I was super energized and I was super hyped and euphoric about everything. I, I didn't know what happened. It was really, that was really a great week. I hope uh, next week um, or this week I will, I will also be uh, rocking awesome. Um, I have a very, very nice new lecture I'm going through here, the uh, book I bought. And um, I will uh, probably have some time to read it traveling um, this week. But I will be, be, will be back. Uh, next week, right in time for for another live stream here on this channel. Um, looking forward to do this meeting, you guys. And then we're going to talk about glimpsing, peeking at the card to find out what what we can do with it. Because uh, quite honestly, the concept of of peeking. Or of of glimpsing is uh, is one um, uh, that that never really attracted me. So, but uh, but hey, maybe uh, maybe um, I I, I change my mind uh, next week. What about that? Practicing here right now, some doubles. Some second dealing and some bottle dealing, as I usually do when this here comes to an end. 
And I would say now because with the camera overheating all the time, I had a blast of a time. This was super productive. Uh, Honey Badger has just signed in for your Patreon. Your videos are great and the community is wonderful too. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. This is super amazing. Um, this is very mad. I will I will do a, a pretty very soon, probably not, not this week, but I've planned this like doing a little update video on Patreon. Um, just getting also in touch with uh, with you guys there because you know we had this uh, uh, if you if you become a, a patron if you uh, um, a pledge you know you will uh, you will uh, be able to see a very emotional um, thank you video <laughs> I don't know if you already see saw, seen this and uh, so um, but I didn't just simply didn't have the time to uh, to, 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 to shoot anything I, but right now I'm just having time to and I'm so happy to have this format to, to, to be able to um, go live uh, every every uh, every once in a while uh, respectively every every Tuesday um, and and uh, working working on the cards uh, this is a believe it or not uh, so because once in a while people ask me oh, why why do you teach um, a, a magic or a lecture for free I say it this is uh, not so much uh, uh, something that I give away for free. This is also really quality time for myself and advancing with what I'm doing for myself. So um, uh, a win-win, a I would say. Um, because also teaching um, and lecturing is something that, that needs practice. You know, you, you, just, uh, you just have to learn it. Um, so so I, don't, I, I don't really... I don't really... Um, um, uh, I, I lost track of my thought, train of thought right now. <laughs> Just went blank. Uh. Okay. Back to the card table for the last round here until the camera overheats one more time. And are we going? Are we going out here? So, um, Akuma Snow, once again, thank you so much for the super chat. This really, this really, uh, this really, really nice gift. Thank you so much. We are at the card table currently five viewers um but i know and this is what i will address also next time when i get started that there are people watching the stream after after it went live um, and i hope they also have a great time and enjoy it and anyone who watched the stream live uh, uh, um not live as an upload so after it has been streamed live uh, uh, up to this point you go and write a comment and you write in a comment uh i i did it i watched till the end and now i even wrote a comment or something like this you know you that would be great let's do this but i don't believe i don't believe uh, anybody does this because i mean this is already three hours live on air again here on Aunt mary's magic practicing cards together by the way have you guys been practicing also the time did you have a deck of cards out <coughs> Practicing your thing? Come on. Final round here, final round. Oh yeah, using Flux playing cards. So you're practicing the pass right now, what?
Keep kept doing some strike seconds during the stream. Yes, nice. Pull them off very, very, very gently. That's really convincing. Right? Very convincing. Just like that. Yeah, the pass is hard as hell. Really, it is. It is not an easy. It is not an easy thing. Really important is that the index finger. You don't have to really stretch the index finger out over here, but that you can have it supporting the whole motion, right? And then when you pull it out, just like that. Yeah. So when you pull it out, don't be stressed about it, and try to keep from the very from the very beginning. Try to keep your fingers here together. So it's only the thumb and a clip between thumb and uh, and uh, uh, second finger on the lower portion, right? And then you just pull the card out. And this is what you do for a really long time. See, I have the finger not closed, which is annoying. It will really help later covering, but I... From this angle right now, this is really hurting me. Yeah. Honey Badger, are you Bavesh Agaval?
Well then, uh, I just got I got I just got an uh, email email from Patreon that 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 um that I got a new um I got a new pledge. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support. Real time, instant at the point where Patreon informs me you get a re re live interaction. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Uh, this really means a lot to me. You're now one of the you're, you're not the set, my seven heroes, pushing my motivation up to the top to keep alive here on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Where are you located from, if I if I may ask, Honey Badger? Thank you so much. This, uh, this. Thank you so much. Thanks for the comment, man. Thanks for the support, Switzerland. Now, oh yeah, get get some folks from Switzerland. Great. So we are just all, almost neighbors. <laughs> This music of this channel is so amazing, it's unbelievable. I'm so happy I found these guys. I'm, I'm so happy they're out there. I've got to support them on, uh, I, I really, I need, to, I need to go to Patreon very soon and uh, become a Patreon myself for these guys because this is so valuable. Guys, what, 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 you need to know, what you need to understand is that if you're dealing with something like the past, you need passion, patience, passion and patience. I'm, what, I'm what I'm practicing here, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not shitting you, I'm practicing for a very, 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 very long frustrating time. That's one thing. Uh, guys, we just crashed, I believe, for one second. I don't know, we crashed. We crashed at the end of the stream! The thing about the pass is that you don't you do you do not do the pass with people looking at it. This is what I'm saying this all the time. You do not you do you do perform the pass in a, uh, in an offbeat that's when the when the direction of the of the people is somewhere else and if you if you want to understand the concept you go to my tutorial series on the topsy turvy cards which is the first trick in the book the royal road to card magic and there's a tutorial on the reverse which is a technique of turning the card of the at the bottom of the deck over the reverse and the technique there and i have a very nice tutorial up and running on my channel that explains how the reverse works and the same thing I'm teaching in this tutorial is true for the past and if you understand this once you will realize 
that the pass is not so much of a bone breaker than most of the people consider it to be, okay? So I hope I'm, I'm back again. So just going back to the car table here and the camera is overheating again. So I'm calling it night now. I'm calling it a night now. I'm calling it a night now. Don't wanna, don't wanna um, break my camera. It, it's the baby. It's a Canon EOS 7D. It's a really, a really good camera, which I got from my beloved uh, girlfriend. And um, I just don't wanna, I just wanna, So, so. It's really the, the, the key, the key to, you, you know, this is all what I'm always saying. I don't know how old you are. I, I, I usually have um, um, uh, to what's uh, um, happening on YouTube here on um, older people uh, that that al already reached their elders uh, elders sense um, so grown-ups uh, talk to grown-ups um, but there's still this there, there's still this um, time issue of that there is a f uh, that there is a magic now uh, which um, which is uh, very influenced by the internet and by the by the fact that everybody has a camera and it's uh, that is um uh, very influenced by the fact that um people kind of view the world through a camera you know everybody goes to a concert and, and looks at the stuff done uh, stuff then and, and and the same thing here that the people are uh, that, that that there is a magic where where the the cards or the hands are always burning they are always burning and and people think that that this is how it's especially younger people and info just coming you're 23 you know so so you are a, a digital native you know easy peasy and um uh, but the whole thing with magic is that it's an interactive um um happening with people and so it's people standing around and attention goes up and down and up and down and there are dead spots of attention what you need to you need to work with you need to learn how to work with and the past is exactly something something like this and you it's hard to explain for somebody who has never been um dealing with that topic because you will not believe how little we see as human beings how big these black spots are in our um in our visual field and also in our in our cognitive um, in our whole uh, in our whole represent uh, representation of the world there are literally huge gaps of information and they uh, the, and you learn as a performer of magic to um to operate within these gaps and if you are looking at the performance of a of a um of, of a well-trained old school magician that works with people for the for the longest time and you just film it from 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 a arbitrary angle you would see everything. You would see him put cards in the pocket. You would see him do the pass. You would see him take one coin, putting it on his shoulder. And, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, you will see literally everything if you just burn the one face. But the people uh, he's interacting with, they are just completely blown away. You know, I'm exaggerating now a little bit, but this is basically basically uh, a, huge, a huge, huge, uh, very important aspect to understand what's going on. In the past, it's a thing like that. You know, there is no the past has never been designed to be something to have the, to people look at it and then you do, and it's done so rapidly, so fast that you don't see. It's impossible. It's just not designed for this. The past is done. For, this the past is done like this in a motion like this, like just like this. In a motion like this, the pass is done like this. Ah, now this is up angle here very high, or just like this. Very cool and natural and calm. And you think, what? This can't be the this can't, it's, it's way too slow. Yeah, but it's not. It's it's not too slow if 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 that is what you see. If that is what you see, look, this is an example. Here's the deck of cards. I'm going down, and I come up again. And uh, this is I just tried to show you the break here that happens when you look away from it, which you do naturally when you look up and you look down. And and as long as the interaction is not interrupted because I have to look down or at, I am 
cringing now because I'm doing something uncomfortable. If as long as I'm natural and I'm, uh, you 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 don't realize it. And the brain with the you know when you look from one place to another place, the the and you look back. Uh, the the brain will reconstruct the whole motion of it and you will always be uh, basically you're always kind of in delay with what you see is real and it connects things and leaves stuff in between out and so there is no there is there how do you say this it's really difficult because when you as soon as you point your direction to it it's like try to see what what's behind you with eyes that are that with imaginary eyes in your back try to see that shit now it's not there right there is nothing and um and and, and just like that so you have a deck you don't show it and it's the same deck right is it <laughs> you know and that's the secret to the past. So don't stress out about, over the past. Practice, practice it steadily. Give it some time, and, and it will come to you. And then, and then, as soon as you get the, the move fluently, find ways to incorporate it in something useful, so that you really learn to use it. You know. Yes, that's it. Four folks currently watching. Music is off. Now it's six again. Guys, thank you so much. It has been a blast of a time. Super productive session. We are going to do this again next Tuesday. We are going to look at um, peaking and glimpsing uh, cards and the usage of it, learning some tricks and then practicing our thing and whatever comes up, even maybe talking about some other techniques in between. You know, uh, that that's that's it. That's what I'm doing. Thank you so much for a blast of a time. My name is Odd Marius and this is just what I do. So for the end, I just want to have some music here so that we can go out with a little bit of music, right? Uh, but not something melodramatic, something a little more yeah. Sounds fair enough. All right. My name is Omarius, and this is just what I do. Um, you be sure more magical stuff is going to be uploaded very soon. And in the meantime, practice, practice, and practice. Odd Mario's magic. Like and subscribe.